Welcome. I'm the motherfucking Batman, David John Lincoln, aka the Savage Bat. Welcome back to the first ever debut live stream. Uh, Restore the Snyderverse special, um, Mikeyverse Dreamwalker special uh, as well. And I've um, got quite a few guests here tonight. Um, and I might as well get on with it and introduce them. Um, first, we have Welcome Zod Writer. Hey, thank you for having me. How's it going, man? Oh, it's going wonderful. Just, I'm yeah. glad to be here, man. This is awesome. It's brilliant. And uh, that stream that we did the other day, your interview, that was great fun. I really enjoyed that. Absolute fire, yes. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. So, um, yeah, we've had a bit of a timing problem, and we've got some guests joining later on in the stream. So we're going to get straight in there uh, and say hello to Necron. Hey, How's it what's going, up, man? everyone? How's it going? Yeah. The great Necron is here. See, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Then now we can start the show. This is what we do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's just do it. This is this is the uh, nature of show business. <laughs> right, let's go. Welcome, Bat Dan. How's it going, mate? Well, good. I'm, fin I'm glad to finally be on the show. I haven't been on the show yet. Yeah, well, this is my first ever live stream. So, yeah, it's... Oh, uh, yeah, this is this is the first one, so we'll see. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's great. And welcome, socks bulletins as well. How's it going? Hey, 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 hey! Back into the Mikey verse. All righty. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Yo, we've got uh, who we got here in the chat? Hey, bro. Super Bro Corey. Super Bro Corey, the man. He's the man in the house. All right. Yo. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't even know. Yeah, what a way to start a live stream. Well, to be honest with you, I'm winging it. <laughs> well, no. That's the way to go. That's yeah. the way, man. Unless yeah. you're in the Star Wars sequel trilogy, then winging it's not the best way to go. No, definitely not. <laughs> no, because the Star Wars sequel trilogy fucking sucks ass. <laughs> when, you're, well, when you're the savage bat, you have you have the ability to bring on so many amazing people. So that's awesome. Uh, to, to be honest with you, just it's really like you know got me in the heart. Like that I've managed to get everyone here today. Uh, no, we've got more people joining later. We've got the, M Mikey and Seal should be showing up at some point. Um, but f f for the benefit of the audience here, um, this lovely group of people here is it's basically we're all going to be in Mikey's Dreamwalker comic and as characters. And I know why in this stream is going to be fire. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> it's already fire by virtue of all the people you have lined up. It's incredible. Yeah, oh. yeah. Fingers crossed. We'll see. It's, it's going cool so far. So so far so good. Um, and yeah. So we're, we're, let's, let's start a little bit before we start talking about the Dreamwalker stuff. Actually, I'll just show you quickly my Filipino variant there nice. of Dreamwalker. Nice. I'm waiting nice. on mine. I nice. think mine is coming together. With the second issue, because I ordered mine and the second yeah. issue together. So, yeah, yeah, I'm getting my second at some point. But well, it's got signed by Noel um, Leon Flores, you know, the artist. Yes. Wow. Pretty cool. cool. And I've added just next to that sort of red lightsaber thingy the, the limited poster. That's already that's signed by Noel as well. So I was really happy about that. But um, yeah, we'll get to. to Restore the Snyderverse, where we're at with Restore the Snyderverse. Um, we'll start at that phone call that, that Zach didn't get. Let's start there um, from Warner Brothers saying, uh, in, you know, that, that they're not interested and in all this business with the uh, the old regime, um, you know, like Anne Sarnoff um, and people like that. Um, Boom. Boom. Savage Pet D six extended. Yeah. Hey, don't oh, TC, man. Good guy. Yeah, he's a great supporter. <laughs> Always. 
stand up. Yeah, so basically, with 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 um, our hopes and dreams on Facebook and Twitter, and then backed up by uh, Mikey and Seal, Seal Abdul Wink, everything's come true. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. the the, uh, the clown table, as they call it, the old way old regime of Warner Brothers, just for the benefit of the audience. Uh, they're they're the clown table. Most of them are gone now. And sign off, Jason Keeler, um, the big one was Toby Eremick. That was a massive win for the uh, Snyder fandom because uh, that was very important. We got rid of him. Um, and that was the key. Yeah. Yeah. The key. yeah. One more that to was go. The key. One more to go. Water matter. Yeah. Yeah. Your days are numbered. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you watch the loneliest this. job. I hope you would right now. Yeah, no, yeah, I, th I, th I can't remember. It might have been you that said it. That uh, he's sitting in his uh, the dining hall eating a cheese and <laughs> cheese and pickle sandwich on his own. Well, everyone stop, won't talk to him. <laughs> Warner Brothers Studios. He's got dust balls <laughs> rolling through his office. <laughs> yeah. he doesn't even have an uh, an office anymore. Oh, yeah, that's a, right. They gave him a they gave him a broom closet to. Uh, <laughs> Hang out in the, the hermetic closet, yeah, yeah. definitely. That's what he deserves as well. Gonna get a boogie ass out of the door when he's done, yeah. He's the janitor's yeah. assistant. Mike, <laughs> get over there and sweep that up for me, real quick. <laughs> yeah, you know that. So, you know, we're it, it's you know, there's been a lot of just recently, um, a lot of fear amongst the fans um that haven't been keeping up with it you know about this Ezra Miller thing and Amber Heard they're like you know oh the Snyder versus dead it's all over uh let's pack our bags up and leave come on Do you know what I mean? as if <laughs> as if we're going to give up at this uh you know late stage of the game it's uh it's happening you know these we always come across problems like this and they always get sorted know this since uh, release the Snyder Cut days. You know, we made magic happen. Yeah, so, well, yeah, that yeah. um. Oh no, I'm just saying um, all that stuff about that's this beta is trying to break the spirit, coming up with theories and their own little speculations. It doesn't matter. I mean, no, nah. these studios have all type of backup plans in effect. They're not just a bunch of unless it's the clown table, but most real studios yeah they, they kind of have a, a contingency real plan. studios <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, okay you know if this goes down then we're going to plug this in we're going to do this you always have a contingency plan and obviously hamada and all them didn't they didn't know what the hell they were doing they were just throwing darts at the board hoping something would stick so yeah i don't see right. this affecting it anyway. no neither do i neither do i and and the, and the fact that you know whatever happens either way with ezra miller um is uh it's the flash is well known in the stories for changing <laughs> yeah with the, with the um you know the timeline thing so boom new actor oh well, it's totally explainable <laughs> the flat the flash and, and this is something you know savage bat this is something that a lot of people don't realize about the character of the flash this is how we yeah. know that a lot of people don't really read comics and no. are just are just a pal. you know talking all kinds of garbage because here's the thing in my mind and you know guys correct me if I'm wrong but I've read a lot of flash comics in my life and I kind of feel like the actor playing the flash should essentially be almost as interchangeable as Doctor Who because of the way that the flash interacts mm -hmm. with the speed force and time and all sorts of crazy stuff. So essentially, there could be an in uh, in continuity uh, change for the actor for the yeah. way that the actor looks. Again, almost uh, again, almost. They could easily write that in, and we don't bomb, yeah, no yeah. problem. <laughs> uh, 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 you know exactly, like easily uh, akin to you know regeneration in Doctor Who. Not quite the same thing, mind you, but but pretty much. Yeah the same thing in terms of for the actor to be able to continue for uh, the character to be able to continue on without changing the actor being such a jarring thing. Although even in the case of doctor who sometimes when they change the actor, it can be quite jarring, but that's, you know, but at least the character continues. Yeah, that's right. 
And uh, with the Amber Heard thing, you know, uh, I'm probably going to make some, I'm going to probably make some comic fans mad here, right? Yeah, but Mira, really, is she that important <laughs> to the story? No, no. I mean, just write her out of it. <laughs> I want Amelia Clark. That's who I want. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, everyone's been saying I mean, Amelia Clark would be a good it should, have been, it should have been Amelia Clark from the get go, man. Yeah. yeah, the only problem with Amelia Clark, though, is I think she's quite a lot shorter than Amber Heard. Yeah, that's my not... issue with, with Amelia Clark. Yeah, I, 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 the that's the only thing. thing. Put her on a box, she'll be fine. Yeah, Tom Cruise gets away with it all the time. Sorry, Tom, love you, but, you know, yeah, we, a, all, we all know movie. you're short. <laughs> You know, here's the, here's the funny part though. It's a movie. Height is not an issue. They could make no. you. They could make you any height they want you to be. So, yeah. Well, Lord of the Rings is a good example when they did Gandalf oh, yeah. and the Hobbits. You know, like, you know, that's uh, yeah. We can soon sort that out. But yeah, she, yeah, Amelia Clark's everyone's sort of favorite. You know, these, these betas thought um, Amber's turd was going to take down the whole Snyderverse. Like, yeah. super real, man. Come on. Yeah, I know. I think that, to be honest with you, <laughs> well, you remember pretty- you remember the court case. You remember the court uh, deposition of uh, Walter Hamada when they asked him. Yeah, have you talked to Zack Snyder? And he kind of, he got kind of yeah. snarky, like no, no, he got no, smug. He was, he was scared, a smug Zach face. Snyder. I thought, oh, do you know what? <laughs> that face is just oh, so slappable. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 no, I've not spoken to, to Zack Snyder. Need to get, we need to get uh, Chuck Norris to go slap Walter Hamada. <laughs> yeah, definitely, Chuck. He, if you're out there listening, sort him out. <laughs> so rude, you know what I mean? He's blatantly. No, no, no. no because of Will Smith, because honestly, Will Smith, I, 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 Chuck, Chuck Norris, nobody, see, this is the thing, nobody can mess with Chuck Norris, okay? No, no, that's right. You might, you, if somebody wants to slap somebody as a, with Chuck Norris, you know, messing with Chuck Norris, they're just going to slap themselves. <laughs> because Chuck Norris is, is that, is that good. So I, I would, I would like, I would like to see a Chuck Norris uh, slap to Walter Hamada. It would be the slap heard around the world, and we would we could all be vindicated. And he could be, and Chuck Norris could even be wearing a uh, uh, Restore the Snyderverse T-shirt when he does it. I could actually imagine him doing that. <laughs> and, and then and then Zach, and then Zach could give him a role in Justice League Two for his troubles. <laughs> yeah, like in the Expendables when he had his little cameo. Yeah, yeah. I want one of those slow motion slaps from the eighties. Oh yeah. yeah, where the head turns and spit. Oh, we do it, Matrix style. Do it, the Matrix man. When you, when you see the, the 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 whole camera go around, where you see the guys clapping, and then the whole and then the whole amount of space goes into slow motion, is just getting slapped across the face in, in the Matrix style way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. But I mean, you know, like seriously, the the you know the 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 indications for Restore the Snyderverse, not just from, you know, our hopes and dreams and Mikey and Seal and stuff. There's some big clues being dropped by like Clay Storb, Zack Snyder, uh, Jay Oliver. Um, you know, they're getting, like Clay Storb's ones have been really, um, you know, on the nose. Like, you know, he's obviously knows something, um, you know, and they just can't sort of talk about it. I, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, David Zesleff has already um, spoken to Zach and maybe Clay and people like that. But, uh, yeah, and it's just a case of, uh, you know, um, it's just, just we've got to wait to just keep the surprise, you know. they got to sign all the on. contracts. And, you know. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Fandom. Sorry, say that again? I said contracts fandom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, DC fandom. Hopefully, is when they're going to be dro- dropping the news, or at least the eye cut stuff. Anyway. Air uh, cut, Man of Steel two, Bat flick movie. Just get those. At least get those three things announced. Yeah, yeah. I'm not well, sure they which. Announce that. That's game over. Well, what do you guys think is going to be announced first? Hey. Uh, the air cut's definitely going to get announced first because that's well, but besides, besides the air, besides the air cut because we know air cut yeah. is eminent. Man, it's still um, too. <laughs> right. Bat we've flick, got bat flick. Remember, Mikey said bat flick would be likely get announced before Man of Steel two. Oh, yeah. We've of got another. Was... We've got another guest here. 
There we go. Ooh, yeah. Welcome, oh. Trey. <laughs> oh, what's up, guys? Oh, the back channel has arrived. Yeah, How's everyone doing? Three bats here now. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> we got the we got the three bats. We're all set. Manza, Ryder, El Necron, Socks. Look at this. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> yeah. How's it going, man? It's doing been... well. Doing well. It's been a busy day doing a lot of uh, house chores and you know lawn maintenance. It's and a stuff Sunday. Like that. <laughs> it makes yeah. Make sense. <laughs> <laughs> it means. So, right. Um, hold on one second. Right. I'll just leave you two. Um, talk about Restore the Snyderverse for a minute. I've just got to do something. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay. Guys, uh, he'll be back 20, in two 20,000 tweets with hashtag Mate the Batfleck movie. I oh, good. Wow. The man is still there. I'm glad I'm off Twitter, so I couldn't see that. But yeah, I'm glad. Did my, <laughs> did my scheduled tweets go through? Does anyone know? I, I saw a few, Bat and okay. uh, I think it, it came across so. You actually yeah. scheduled tweets? Yeah, well, I let, I decided to take a break from Twitter, but I knew the bat. Oh, I know, movie. I know that. He's the smart one, you know. He's yeah. like, I'm so, taking a break from that. Nothing, so <laughs> nothing can stop me from a make the bat flick movie trending event. I will work around it when it comes to make the bat flick movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, my good friend Gary McGill, he's uh, a member of my group, Restore the Snyder vs. the Snyder Knights. He's an admin. Um, he's the creator of the make, make the bat flick movie. Uh, campaign. He's uh, he's coming on the channel next week. Uh, oh, he's the hopefully. One who runs the account. Awesome. What's that? Is he the one who runs the account? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's admin of my group, and uh, I don't oh. know know him very well. But I'm going to do a. Uh, this is kind of a, an announcement now. I'm going to do a Snyder Knights admin type live stream next. Oh, cool. Uh, so in oh, a couple yeah. of weeks. Great. And you know, get other people to join. You know, there's uh, you know, you could, some of you guys, if you fancy joining and things like that. You know, we're gonna uh, and awesome get get this live streaming thing uh, up up and running. Try and do it once a fortnight if I can. Yeah, if, those guys are uh, a blast. That'll be a great stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. And um, this is to make the back flick movie campaign today, isn't it? So. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're watching now, after this stream's finished, <laughs> get or, or do it on your phone while you're watching it. Um, <laughs> get on Twitter and hashtag Make the Batfleck Movie you got and it. tag Warner Brothers Discovery in it. Basically, you, it. you know. Um, so to me, the Batfleck Movie is the one project that's just as important as Zack Snyder's Justice League Two and Three because. It is. It's the only project that has unresolved cliffhangers from still the Justice League. Yeah. Because yeah. that scene with Lex and Destro goes nowhere. Yeah. Well. And uh, what's this guy? Oh, it's Corey. <laughs> Corey, we're going to be talking about that tomorrow. <laughs> Clear your calendar. It's Monday. We're doing our Top Gun show. Top Gun 1 billion. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe uh, that. There you go. Yeah, people were uh, too. He looked at me and he was like, the movie's a masterpiece. The movie's a masterpiece. I'm yeah. not surprised that it's making a billion. It's a masterpiece. And nostalgia sells, guys. Yeah. This is what well, it I mean, is. It's me who, you know, I work kind of closely with the theaters and Yo, stuff what's like up, that. And this is very unusual, you know, like most of the time it's like the global markets that are you know what it is you know what it is to a billion you know this is, is domestic it's right in the domestic train like crazy over 500 million you know what it insane. is trey it's about it's about the fact that you put out a movie <laughs> that people want to see and yeah. you don't inject yeah. it with all kinds of crazy crappy no agendas and all that. Thank you. no agenda Thank you. Uh, agendas just a good yeah just a feel yeah. good movie exactly. that happens to be a sequel to a movie that people have actually wanted to see a sequel for and you yeah. will make the money yeah. <laughs> it's that simple yeah. 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 Science. it's not a tough formula it really is no especially with the love for the 80s nostalgia at the moment oh, yes yeah. you couldn't have released it at a better and it's time perfect i mean the the when you see it, when you see it in the, the the theater, and you hear those, you hear the rumble of those jet planes, and you get the the. the I haven't the, watched it yet. 80s, I'm, wait, I'm still waiting to go. Music, you know the Savage. '80s music from the original fires up. Oh my it's god! Great. Savage, yeah. is fantastic. It's one. I can't wait because really like, that was my age group. I'm fuck yeah. 41 Bro, yeah, yeah. this year, 
So it's amazing. It's I grew amazing. up with Top Gun. Do you know what I mean? So I can't wait to see it. It's just life's got in the way, and I want to go with my brother as well. And he, oh, yeah. he's I've had to work around whatever he's doing. Um, and he's a postman, so yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go soon. I'm gonna have to go now, aren't I? Now that yeah. it's made a billion, I'm gonna have to add to that billion. Don't be <laughs> that one person who yeah. hasn't seen Top Gun Maverick. Uh, look who <laughs> we have in person. the house again. This is some sort of bloody Justice League string coming on here. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, this is what it's all about. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You want you wanted the Justice League. There you go. <laughs> hey, salute to everybody on this panel, guys. It is an honor to be on with all of you guys, man. Much respect and much love to each and every single one of you. What's up to the chat? Love all you guys too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Mikey verse. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Hashtag <laughs> restore the Mikey verse. Uh, Master Skywalker tonight, brother. Tonight. Oh. Look, 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 Um, I wasn't even going to do this, you know what I'm saying? But mm, Savage Bat <laughs> allowed me to plug what's going on tonight, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. A lot has been happening lately. You know, there's been a lot of clapping back from, like, you know, the move on crowd and things like yeah. that. Um, and just before I hopped on stream, I just saw that something happened on Twitter earlier today. I cannot wait. Tune in tonight. Tonight will be a very, very special stream. Um, I have a lot to say, and it's going to get very, very interesting. I promise oh. you guys. So, right. I've got, I've got, uh, here we go. Here's the main man himself. Hey, <laughs> it's a troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> Story time! Welcome, Story Mikey. Time. Story time! time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm only here to trigger, just in case you're anyone why I'm here. Oh, oh, yeah. It's a trigger. Yeah. Oh, talking of Mikey stories, that one yesterday, I caught up with it. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with you Americans, man? Mikey, 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 Mikey you, left out, you left out one, you left out one major detail that I almost super chatted again over this, but I wanted to know... Mikey, was there peanut butter involved? That's all I know. <laughs> oh, God. Don't ask questions you don't want the answer. To. Oh God! Right. Well, if you want to know, if you want to know the story of this, you're gonna to have to go on Sil Abdul Inc. Yeah, and you're gonna to have to watch the episode yourself because it's pretty graphic. <laughs> To do, hey. you, can go, you go into a grocery store, right? And you see, you, you see a beautiful woman grocery shopping, and she's loading, she's loading all this peanut butter. This is a true story. Loading all the peanut butter up in the truck. I walked up to her, she like, she had like a ton of different brands. You know, she had all the major brands. You know, Jip, Skippy, whatever. And I, and I, I walked up to her and I said, and I just, and I don't know what made me say this, but I walked up to her and I said. Because I'm not, but I walked up to her and said, excuse me, are, are you an animal lover? And she says, yeah, I have six dogs. And that's all I needed to hear. And I away <laughs> because there was so much peanut butter in that card. I was like, man, I, you know. And then, Mikey, when you had story time last night, I was having flashbacks. I was thinking about that one. Uh, that was up that's with all that peanut shit. butter with her six dogs. I was like, okay. Yeah. Man, the look on Syl's face. Yep. It was classic. <laughs> just, just, I could, you know what to say to do like totally speechless. I was speechless. I love story time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's same. Interesting how it's gonna, and how it always ties back in. So you know, I. I didn't get a chance to, to use the point either. I completely forgot. Like, wait, what was that for again? <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's because everybody was like. Oh, Paul, you know what I'm saying? Everybody <laughs> the chat was going crazy last night. It was, it was a cold opening, and, and still had no idea I was going to do it. He had no idea. Story time was coming. He had no idea. I just be 
bestiality was on the menu last night. He had no idea. <laughs> oh, you could you could tell that Sill had no clue what story time oh, was gonna be. Because Phil, Phil, <laughs> Phil, Phil at one point, <laughs> Phil at one point had his head down. Yeah. Like, oh, I was like, oh man, Phil. <laughs> Wasn't ready. Like, dude, I hope your kids weren't listening. You know? <laughs> Phil was like, what have we gotten? He's like, what have I gotten myself into? You know. <laughs> <laughs> and all the old schoolers are rooting on story time. Story yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the new people are all, oh my God. Jesus, yeah. Uh, well, I'll just give the all just for the benefit of the audience, there was a bit of bestiality involved in the story, and uh, it was, wasn't very pleasant. <laughs> but, 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 the, but the moral of the story is, is that this kind of stuff happens. So, Mike, yeah, I mean, yeah. hey, Mikey was just telling it like it was. Yeah, I know. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh, so it was just and I sales for yeah, taxi drivers have the best stories, guys. I'm telling yeah. you. And, and, you know, it happened <laughs> to his wife. I'm sorry it happened to his wife, but, you know. Um, you know, I didn't get to the part where the dog came. I even left that part out, you know? Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. No, 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 but, no, but Mikey, seriously, was there, pine, <laughs> was there peanut butter involved? I mean, <laughs> you know what? I, I, I do not know. I mean, um, just, I just tell you like how, like how, like how he told, like, like I do a scoop, right? And just, like, yeah. scoop time, you know? I mean, it's another, it's a pooper I, scooper. I tell you, <laughs> no, the look on Phil's face is nothing compared to mine. When I discovered it was a dog, I thought it was a dude that she was sucking up. I'm like, oh man, god, bad enough, <laughs> right? And then, you no, know, that, that great dame that she got, man, she was blowing up. Like, what the fuck? I mean, Oh dear. So new- anyway, for school this night of us. Into the pooper verse. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are out of control. Yeah, I know. <laughs> from we get banned from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Never mind. <laughs> so we've got right, we we I was just saying where where are we at with Restore the Snyderverse? Um, you know, it's just a matter of time now, isn't it? You know? Yeah. It's just we we everyone's waiting. I've just we was just discussing earlier about, you know, the the naysayers again using the Ezra thing and the mirror the uh mirror thing you know, as a, as a negative, like, oh, it's all over. What a load of bullshit. How many times have we heard it's all over, you know, over the years? Well, it, it's so funny, um, uh, uh, Savage Bat, like all the, the rage bait that I hear on different corners of the spectrum. Not just for Snyder, but for MCU as well. Like Forbes had this horrible article. You guys are familiar with Forbes and their horrible articles about Snyder. Scott Mendelson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've, co- I've commented. I can't remember his name now. Not Scott, the other one. Yeah, I, com- I think there's two of them, right? I, 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 there's two of them. I, I've, I've got him on Facebook, and I commented underneath, um, you know, the, the water boy, you know, yeah. Adam Sandler, and I put, um, <laughs> mum, 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 says that uh, Snyder fans are the devil. It was the <laughs> men. <What> the <laughs> you know, that's uh, the devil. Like, do you know what I mean? What is the problem? <laughs> you know, come on. That's like, it's just so, ridiculous. There's this new article that just came out. I don't want to promote it, but I just want to get it out there. But it says that John Krasinski is not Reed Richards because, because, uh, something Foggy said, and they didn't say anything. In fact, the article debunks itself. Yeah. Uh, the article says that what does it mean Krasinski's not in it? Well, what did you say it was then? I mean, it's just I'm so yeah. uh, So, hey, Foggy was saying that, yeah, let's put Krasinski in there to make the fans happy. And, and all of a sudden, well, I guess that proves Krasinski's not the main Reed Richards then. Like, what? What, what, what a reach, you know? Uh, <laughs> it's like the whole Lady Gaga is how they win, therefore, Santa versus Dead. Like, it's the most ridiculous thing that I ever heard. And then you have oh, James no. Gunn hinting that he's working with Margot Rob on Margot Robbie again. So you bunks yeah. that already, right? So yeah. Um, so the, the the betas are mad, dude. They're mad because they were wrong about Amber. They were wrong yeah. about Arnoff. 
They're yeah. wrong about Hamada. They're wrong, wrong, wrong. You know. Yeah. They're wrong yeah. about a lot of stuff, Mikey. They've been wrong about a lot of stuff recently, and they get more and more triggered every single every, day. Every time they get more <laughs> yeah, angry, it's like fueling fueling the fire every yeah, time. Something, something about something about being wrong to make you totally lose it and be yeah. Angry, you know? yeah. Especially, as, <laughs> especially as perpetual as it is with these people, the L's are stacking up so high. Yeah, I know. Anywhere it's just, to go. Oh, they hated me from the beginning, God, because yeah. I came in through the door triggering because I proved them wrong about Spider-Man. That, that's how I came in through the door, and yeah. I started saying, everybody's wrong. Well, Mikey, <laughs> my, Mikey I, felt like, I felt like the betas have been triggered by you ever since Yahoo decided to write about you. That's what, really, what yeah, that's what he done. That's what he done. Like, what is that? The front page of Yahoo? <laughs> what the hell is this guy? Yeah. You know? Like, like comicbook.com had that um, had a video about me, totally attacking me, right? And yeah. they made me sound cool as what happened because they're so <laughs> nerdy, right? This guy has more origins than Batman. Well, what, who is this guy? I want to know, you know? That sounds cool yeah. to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, backfire of the century. It always, I've, it's happened it. to me before, not on the on that scale, but with people on Facebook, they do a do an attack on me, and it ends up turning in my favour. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Well, we all know the savage bat. Yeah. What are we talking about?" <laughs> well, all these guys like, are kind of all damaged now. They're going after all of everybody on me and Phil's side now. You know? yes. Yeah, I know they already have. They already have. I've had some rather insult. I've had a few members join. <laughs> My restore the Snyderverse yeah. uh, group, um, you know, hacking on you and stealing the comments and stuff. You know, I've given them would. a chance to explain <laughs> themselves. I just block them. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's simple as. There you go. There you <laughs> yes, go. This, this is the dark side of the force for you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking at the panel now. You guys are all villains. You know. It's yes, like, right. Villains, <laughs> but you're 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 all in the book. So like, I'm looking at my characters right now. It's, yeah. It's, it's like just for the benefit of the audience, see it, the Dreamwalker comic, right? Yeah. By Mikey Sutton Thank and you Neil Layan Flores. Thank you yeah. for buying those copies. And get the poster too, which is great. Yeah, the poster is up there behind me. Yeah, the poster is out of print now, it's gone. They're all gone. The poster's gone. I'm so excited to get mine because I ordered yeah. both of them both together. I ordered the international version along with awesome. the uh, issue two, but I think it's coming together because I don't think they're yeah, gonna it'll be coming together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Issue two is the best thing I ever wrote. It's ferociously dark. Um, number three, we'll have the first time you guys are mentioned. So, Ooh. and God debuts in issue three, so he has a cameo. All right, you actually see his face. Yeah, I, I'm so happy that you have me <laughs> hunting down silver. I'm excited. It's, it's the best idea in the world, man. Just, uh, it's like it's, so cool. <laughs> it's, just, it's so you because you strike me as a detective. That's how I see you. Like yeah. I can see Zod like like a, like a detective meets Rorschach. It's just it's how yeah. I. See. <laughs> and I just and I was thinking about you know and I was just thinking about that too about you know you know uh, you know Sill in the beginning when Sill. Yeah first started with you and with yeah. you know the whole geekosity thing and how i was real skeptical at first and how i had to had to kind of look into <laughs> it all and kind of vet and try to understand and see where you all were coming from and it was yeah. just like yeah it was, it's actually very poetic that's awesome brilliant it is and, and i'm so grateful that i met all of you and i obviously still um still had no idea what was what was coming along the pipeline um uh, Especially at the dog too, by the way. But that's something else. But but Sil, <laughs> Sil, Sil was like, I remember Sil saying something like something to the effect of, "Well, then we'll do a story a story time stream, and I'll just be off camera the entire time." <laughs> <laughs> the look on his face, though, was like, "Oh my god, what have I done? What have I done?" Yeah. I said to him, I said to him a DM. I'm like, Sil, what is Mikey doing? You guys are losing viewers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can only imagine, can only imagine like a new viewer, like out of context. Yeah, I can only picture like a new viewer, like all of a sudden, like, hey, what's this stream all about? You know. <laughs> <laughs> then he caught the dog dicking her mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
expected to hear yeah. about Schneider. Or the dog got too. bigger balls than the husband. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> 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 So basically, the run of the short, just for the, just in case the audience are watching, um, we're going to be characters in Mikey's yeah. comic, yeah. Dreamwalker. Well, let me you know, explain, who you, uh, I explain who you guys are, okay. Um, yeah. I was a savage bat, savage bat, you're part of a silver, silver, silver duel that YouTube hosts. Um, he's a vampire, okay? But he's a secret vampire because on the surface, he is a rapper. And you know, vampire is who he is his evil identity that he's hiding. Okay. Right. Now, a leader, uh, a bad guy, needs cronies. He needs some fellow bad guys. So I thought of, what would happen, guys, if Dracula had an Ocean's Eleven, and yeah. they need to populate those people with, like, okay, you know what? I'll have Sil's friends. Be the Ocean's Eleven. So all you guys have colorful names: Necron, you know, Savage Bat, you know, Bat Dan. You just have just cool names like Soft, even you know, they can turn sinister, right? Oh. And Zod didn't strike me as a villain. He struck me as a detective. I just like he's a Ben Urich of Daredevil. He's he's that he's that dude that investigates. Because how is Silver getting away with all of this? Somebody's got to investigate him, right? I mean, he's going to leave a trail of bodies, okay, of vampires, you know. Like, why all of a sudden are vampires increasing in population in a certain area that still is in? Right. That's and it. Who's, who's going to look that up? Zod. Zod's going to look it up. He's going to follow this guy to the Philippines and investigate him. Then Silver is surrounded by all these weirdos. Like, these guys look like, you know, scary dudes, like Skywalker here. Uh, what? Wait till you find out what his, his powers are. Uh, oh. <laughs> Necron oh yeah. has like the most evil powers I've ever come up with. Nice. Uh, nice. Um, <laughs> each of his fingers has a particular disease. Wow. If you have to deal with so a finger, <laughs> he'll give you Necron. a disease. <laughs> so, like, 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 let's say his thumb has AIDS, and he'll touch it, you'll get AIDS from his thumb. Okay. Holy. Which is pretty evil power to have, all right? So he wears gloves all the time to protect people from his... But if you piss him off, he'll shake your hand. You can get get fight diseases, okay? I can see see Necron clearing out some politicians. Oh, yeah. (laughs) There you go. There you go. There you go. I'd be all at their campaigns. (laughs) I got to shake his hand. (laughs) It's going to get really creepy. So Savage Bat is uh, Silver's adopted brother. (laughs) What do you think of hysterical? When you told me about this part, I was like, (laughs) what the fuck? (laughs) And and keep in mind, I'm not going to reveal that they're adopted yet. I'm going to say Savage Bat is his brother. Like, what? This white British dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> something's not quite right there. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, can you explain this to me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still, so, note if you want to see the Still show, I mention Man Bat all the time. I love Man Bat, one of my favorite characters of all time. Yeah. And I want to Don't... create my own Man Bat. So, Savage Bat, perfect name for a Man Bat type character. Um, and he's really a bat. More of a Batman, you know, than Batman. Yeah. Um, and so Sil- Silver wants to cure him of his ailment, right? Um, <laughs> so he has to steal it from the wrong person to steal it from, which mm. is Tivo the evil sorcerer, which is based on Tivo from Lord of the Long Box. See, like, my characters are all based on YouTubers, which is, which is hilarious to me. Um, it's actually quite it's, brilliant. Really. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Well, when I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna work yeah, with go. you guys because I'm gonna have you guys play your characters on YouTube shows. I'm gonna yeah. tie it in my comic book. Okay, like like Trey, for instance, this has a YouTube right. show in the comic book, and I'm gonna have him do YouTubes that are directly from the comic book. I mean, it's just it's crazy. <laughs> they will crossing over between YouTube and comic books. It's never been done before. This is yeah. brand new. Matter like, awesome. to the I'm gonna ask God, level. God, can you do a can you do a video with a fake news report about silver? And <laughs> you can go in character as Zob. And I'm gonna link your, your video in the comic book. 
Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. That's, that's exciting. <laughs> I noticed in issue one with Kate Valdez character, yeah. um, she's doing her social media thing. Because I'd, I'd not read it until mine arrived the other day. And I've just, I haven't stopped picking it up and reading it. I know it's only the first part and it's very it's quite yeah. short, but uh, I'm already totally addicted. I can't wait to see how this all pans out. Uh, oh, yeah. Gonna... First six issues, so it's going to end. Uh, in a very crazy way, um, number th- number three, I'm running it now. Um, having fun writing Zod. I, I, I really got your character down already. All right. Uh, and all of you guys have already like figured out. I have an outline for all of you guys that like, was well, who Skywalker is going to be, what his background going to be, um, and the silver, uh, silver and gold. So I call it the mini series. Um, that's when all you guys will get, will get together and we'll flesh out your personalities. Um, Trey's in the first six issues as well, because his YouTube channel is going to be uh, in, in the comic book. Wow. Um, and he's an interview silver in, in character as, you know, as silver. It's been nuts, okay? Like, I had this whole idea of crossing over YouTube and comic books. It's revolutionary. And I think, I think kids will dig it, like. This is wild, you know. Yo, is that uh, is that film is that is that, yeah, is that sure. film gob or is that film goblin? Uh, it's, uh, yo, <laughs> <laughs> I look, I'm not quite sure if that's a fan of film gob or film gob himself. So Zod is a private investigator. He's an experienced private investigator. Um, he's into some dark shit, okay? Because he's Zod, so he's into some dark stuff. There's some like some kind of hints of his background. We don't really know who he is though. I want to keep that a mystery, like what his origins are and everything. He might have powers. He does strange things, okay. Um, but he's a damn good investigator, and he's figured out that Silver is a vampire. He knows, but he yeah. needs evidence, and he's trying to stop this guy. Um, but he discovers that it's it's a uh, he's. It's an upward climb because Sil- Silver has got this gang of people. Zod Helsing. That's a good one. <laughs> there you go. There's Zod Helsing. I like that. I, I kind of <laughs> discovered, discovered that Silver was a vampire when, he, when I was uh, observing Silver's reactions uh, to story time last night. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. I couldn't. I didn't actually catch the live stream because I had, to, I had some business to take care of. And but when I rewatched it, that was just. I'm hilarious. so glad you're on American time, uh, Savage. Bad. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I am. No, I, think, I think everybody, everybody around you must think you're nuts for doing that. But hey, yeah, they do, they do think I'm nuts. Yeah, even my own family. They're like, so what? You've worked out, so you've timed it, so you can. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I'm pretty much American. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, on a serious note, what a yeah. shit show with the politics right now. That's terrible news to hear that, yeah. by the way. Uh, seriously, uh, my heart bleeds for American uh, justice. I hope it will get sorted yeah. out. I, I agree with you, man. I agree with you. Yeah, um, I really, really, really do. Savage and Bat, I sent you a page on Facebook. Can you show it to the screen? Yeah, I'll uh, just it's hold it's, on. It's, it's, it's in the group chat. I want to preview issue two for all the viewers out there uh, right hold on uh, oh no- noel is saying i should just be a very skilled human kind of like yeah. batman huh <laughs> there you go perfect perfect noel <laughs> hey what was that old yeah. show koshak the night stalker at- i love that show yeah that yeah he hunted show. down all the yeah. supernatural Actually, creatures Necron, that's one of my influences for zod so you think there you go out. there you go <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> That's cool. No He's complaints the there. The <laughs> I have so many different influences so that are there in the book. Um, Sweet. If this yeah, ever gets just... made into a movie, are we all going to play our characters? Well, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Mikey can't reveal anything about the Netflix special yet. He's yeah, got yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got to kind of, yeah, he's this gotta is gotta where I've got, I've got to be careful not to say anything here. <laughs> <laughs> 
dude. Don't give me a heart attack. If someone said socks, you're playing. <laughs> no. I would die. Okay. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Socks, you're playing socks. <laughs> it's, 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 you know. <laughs> Netflix. Well, one socks. And that's me. A Mikey Sutton Geekosity Netflix original series. Oh. <laughs> well, out of curiosity, Mikey, uh, is issue two still available available for pre order? I know I oh, got yeah. my copy. And... Oh, yeah. Secondskincomics.com. You guys can pre order issue two. Uh, already got my, already ordered mine. Same. Yeah, July twenty fifth is our release date for that. Um, so excited it's coming up. Ordered. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'm even. I'm. I'm like. I'm like knee deep right now in the in the short story tie in that I'm writing as well. For awesome. Green awesome. Walker really because I think you that. got such you got such fantastic writing, fantastic Thank you. Thank artwork. You such a beautiful story set up that it's just it can go anywhere it's insane right i've never done this before so this is experimental hopefully this will go right oh there, there you go, go. Perfect. that there you go yeah issue two preview uh, this is uh um, inspired by a youtube yeah. um video i should have never have seen um let me give you guys a little bit of input on this a little bit of a uh, side story on this what happened was a couple of years ago, uh, a tragedy happened. Um, this very young girl uh, committed suicide live on Facebook. Okay, and she sure. hanged herself. She filmed. She filmed herself. Um, you know, hanging herself from a tree. Now, um, it was on Facebook Live, and then somebody put it on YouTube. Uh, and then the parents um, made sure YouTube did not take it down. Okay, they wanted people to see what happened as a lesson to parents to, if their kids are going through a difficult time, console them, be there for them, because they weren't, apparently. And they felt really guilty about it, and they wanted to share this with the world. Now, somebody sent me the video without telling me what it was, okay? And so I'm watching this video as girl is talking. We'll put All of a sudden, she hangs herself, okay? Yeah. Like, what the fuck did I just watch? You know, and obviously she had the camera was still rolling when after she hung herself, and you see her body hanging from a tree. And then the part that haunted me the most was you hear her mom calling her name. Then her mom, you know, off camera sees the body, and you hear this horrible shriek. And then the video ends there. And it haunted me for the longest time. And so I kind of wrote this to kind of get over get over that. And the, the story about the cycle of abuse that happens um, and how the cycle can be broken, but sometimes it's not broken, you know? And so the story is called Branches. And you'll see why it's called Branches. Um, so that played a huge role in influencing the story. Um, there's also a Filipino film on Netflix called Eerie that the tone of Dreamwalker borrows a lot from that film. There's your subtitles if you guys want to see it. It's the best thing I ever wrote, in my opinion. Uh, and I've been writing since 87, so that's a lot, that's a lot of writing there. Um, and I'm just so excited about this issue. Noel just, he hit a grand slam with everything I've seen of his art in this issue. I think he knows um, how much emotion went into this particular book. Um, and issue three I'm writing now, it's more Doctor Strange level. It's just very weird. Um, and Silver plays a big role in issue three. He's, he debuts in issue two. He, Silver will... We'll debut in this issue. So grateful for all and, and the and isn't and isn't and Alicia is a character in Sills yeah, after Rod, yeah. right? Yeah. She's she like, is uh like, she Alice, her character Alice is an issue too. Okay. Um Sil Silver doesn't need a bodyguard, but people think he's a rapper, so she has yeah. pretend bodyguards, right? And that way so he's not like always a vampire all the time and like, you know, he needs people to, to fight his battles for him. Unless he's got no choice, but he's trying to hide his vampire identity. So he's got these two women who are his bodyguards. They're kind of like Black Panthers, you know, bodyguards. You know, um, like he doesn't really need them, but you know, they'll kick, they'll kick ass for him. Um, 
And so the other one is Purple Valkyrie from another YouTuber. Um, I called her Velvet and then in the comic. And so uh, they're, they're both, all three of them are in issue, issue, issue two. So issue two has like four first appearances. And it's over uh, Purple Valkyrie, uh, Alicia, and Tavo, who's a evil sorcerer guy. Although he does, he is issue one as a tree. If you look closely, the tree has got a face. Uh, but, and then issue uh, three has Zod making his first appearance. And then we'll also have Necron's name on a wall. Um, and so is Socks and Savage Bat. And people think they're bands, but they really are going to be people as well uh, going forward. Nice. That's awesome. So it's, it's pretty exciting stuff. And well, Leon Flores in the chat, my artist, he's absolutely brilliant. Um, he did the uh, designs for Vault of Five, which is a live action version of an old Japanese anime that's coming out next year. Uh, and he was doing Dreamwalker 1 while he was working on that. So um, it's just, it's been a wild ride, guys. It's been a wild ride. And, you know, appreciate all the support. Secondskincomics.com is where you you guys can pre-order. I just love the fact, Mikey, that you went with, you know, uh, you know, an independent, you're doing an independent comic yeah. mm -hmm. and not tried to go with any of the, you know, no. ma major, major labels. <laughs> to hell with that. It's like, oh, it's fucking, like yeah. create the, you yeah. know, it's like build the Mikey verse from the ground up. That's the most yeah. the best thing yes. you could possibly have done. Amazing. Well, I've just got a message from Noel actually, and then we can have a little look at the oh, go. Awesome. There's the tree. Awesome. Oh, yeah, it's the new wow. for me as well. Wow. <laughs> that tree, that's fantastic. Look at that art. Noel, yeah. Noel is a genius, honestly. He like, is. translating, translating all of Mikey's brilliant writing into, into that's hard to do. comic book artwork is phenomenal. Oh my god. Yeah, and, well, and, and more than that too. Oh. I mean, I, I give Noel artistic freedom. I said, Noel, just tweak it however you wish. You know, just it's important that I get your vision of what I'm saying, like how you interpret it. Yeah, and that's yeah. why we work so well together. It's like it's, it's not really it's it's incredible. his vision as well as mine. So it's both of ours. You know? Yeah. So there's a little uh, exclusive for you there. <laughs> I wasn't nice. expecting oh, that. Cool. <laughs> yeah. 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 Since we got the Mikey verse. What, uh, <laughs> what more do you need? I mean, right. yeah. <laughs> you know, the Mikey verse isn't going to be paused or stopped, or it's going to be oh, a train no. that's going to keep rolling, and that's what we need. Something. Yeah, to, it's good. I'm, I'm hoping uh, yeah. um, my character lives for as long as possible. <laughs> 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 Let's be honest. Oh, uh, you, you, you guys will live on. You're just, you're just too, too good of a character. I don't like killing off characters, really. Um, no, because you can always go back to them and use them again. So, yeah. Yeah. And in comic books, nobody ever really dies. No, that's <laughs> right. We're monsters. Yeah. We're monsters as well. So, you know what I mean. We're going to come back. And uh... but I mean, I understand when you're when you're a writer and you've been writing because I've been writing my novel for like the past decade. And my my thing is, I'm so tired of writing this novel that I'm writing that I've created all sorts of super inventive ways to kill off my characters just because i'm tired of writing so it's it's sort of uh it's sort of one of those kinds of things when you have like an intimate relationship with the stuff that you're that you're putting you know that you're putting on paper but but when you have a good story and you have a good idea and you have something that you that you really want to get out there and you love the writing and you love the characters you don't want them to go anywhere so it's awesome uh, thank you. Uh, Savage Bat, I sent you two images. Uh, can you post a cover first? I want to show people the cover. Yeah. Exclusive. Okay. Exclusive. Exclusive. Oh, <laughs> right, here we go. Jesus. I was um, <laughs> not expecting this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a big show. This, this is a Mikey for you, man. You this, is a, this is a Mikey verse stream. That's what this <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah. This is the exclusive man. Do you know what they go? <laughs> right. Let's have a little preview of this then. Uh, 
Yeah. Take a look at that, people. Oh. Wow. Wow. That's oh. We're in a variant awesome, cover from Dreamwalker 2. Yeah. Um, actually, that's the wrong cover. I'm sorry. No, let me get I, I, love, I love that cover. That yeah, cover's there's, fantastic. There's an updated version of that. Hold on. Yes, it's like... All right, but yeah, so you can, as you can see, this is a kind of horror superhero comic, which is uh, obviously um, uh, fuck them kids. That <laughs> pretty, gra yeah, pretty yeah. graphic. I, I'm it's, not for, it's not written for child readers, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, fuck I, I them can, kids. I can, I can see some really, I, I can really see some really cool hip teens reading it, though. I mean, you know, definitely, hundred percent. Well, build, you know building towards becoming you know writers of that type of material themselves and, yeah you know, i'm the, only kidding the, anyway the kids future. these days they're playing grand theft auto watching horror movies uh, you know what i mean they've all got netflix uh, you know <laughs> they watch the boys they're good <laughs> yeah they watch the boys <laughs> you know people running up people's cocks and making them explode and all sorts of you know <laughs> he wrote down zone <laughs> yeah Hey, no spoilers. I haven't started this new stream, this new season yet. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh boy. Uh, here oh, go. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. <laughs> what, what, what <laughs> fell in your house, Pat, then? Oh, never mind. No, that was me. <laughs> no, that was me. It's um, I'm having blinds fitted. Funny enough, it's to do with YouTube. Because if I go to do... Um, um, uh, the streams in the daytime... I can't keep this lovely light effect, so wow. I've had to, so I've had to invest in um, black black blinds, of course. You know, being Batman and all, um, yeah. they're, they're, they're they're pretty flash as well. You know, you're getting old when um, you know you get excited about new, having new blinds in your house. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? I get excited about blinds and uh, oh, my dishwasher. That's probably about the most important thing in my life. My dishwasher. I'm so lazy. I need it. It's my lifeline. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, the first movie I ever saw currently was The Exorcist. It had no effect on me whatsoever. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm a rare breed, guys. That movie still scares the shit out of me to this day. Like, <laughs> yeah. like I, I saw it when I was five, you know. I'm like, oh, yeah. Took you see the yeah, oh, the power oh, okay. of Christ compels you. Yeah, <laughs> well, I was talking to this recently with a good friend Dawn um, Schneider from the Schneider Nights about like, growing up in the eighties watching action films like RoboCop and stuff that we sh none of us should have been watching. It was the toy company's fault. I mean, they were putting out yeah. Think about it. Yeah. They were putting out toys and cartoons and stuff mm -hmm. uh, based off of R-rated properties. Back yeah, then. Rambo, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Robocop, Aliens. Terminator, Aliens! Yeah. Aliens is yeah. like the fucking scariest thing ever. They're marketing <laughs> for kids. <laughs> well, uh, David, I sent you the updated uh, cover. If you could, uh, right, I'll grab that, yeah. Yeah, exclusive, okay. exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> Mikey Sutton Scoop Center. <laughs> Part two. <laughs> oh, the Mikey Savage Bat Edition. Mikey Sutton Pooper Scooper Story Time. That's what we need. <laughs> story Time with Mikey Sutton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one man. <laughs> oh dear. One man, one dog, lots of <laughs> peanut butter. Oh, oh man! Oh. <laughs> right, so this is the a porno version, John Prick. No show. This is the updated <laughs> version. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. Yeah. So yeah, that's the right one. Yeah. Zombie schoolgirl holding the head this time. So. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. Fuck them kids. <laughs> I could see. I could see during this. I could see during this sequence the cranberry, <coughs> the cranberries owed to my family playing. Oh my God, and, and, then, and then like and then like and then like it, it transitions into zombie. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Um, <laughs> This is from the opening part of the story. Actually, it's um, it's really graphic, guys. <laughs> if you yeah, guys like really gory, it. violent yeah. stuff, I kind of went off the rails in the beginning. That's great. Um, more gory than the boys. 
Can you post a black and white I sent you, David? Um, yep, here we go. This is, I had that one ready. I'm getting good at this, you know, it's the you first are. time. <laughs> I don't know about, okay, I can, all I can do is get it in the middle of the screen now. I don't know how to move it about or anything like that. So we're going to have to do oh, that one. Yeah, uh, silver, yeah, silver and Ale Alicia are in the uh, awesome. middle panels there. Uh, first out. appearance. Wow. Mm. Yeah, this takes place in, uh, in a church. Uh, if you notice, the uh, schoolgirls were hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, guys, could you imagine this on film or animated? Just oh, saying. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying. I mean, yeah. it'd be wow. really cool. It'd be dope. <laughs> yeah. Animation would be crazy, yo. Facts. Yeah. It, because, Mike, like, Mike, I want to ask you something if I can. Yeah, sure. Uh, next year, you said you're going to get distribution. Yeah, diamond. we're gonna go after diamond. Yeah, and we you're gonna to... hire writers. Yep. Can you please give me a job as a writer? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, got some. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, I, I didn't hear your question. What was that? Can you please hire me as a writer? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Just send me your stuff. I'll check it out. I mean, look. I will definitely send you. I got a story I've been working on, and it it, it got bigger than I thought it would get. I've had mm -hmm. it in my head since the early '90s. And mm -hmm. I'm about 9,000 words right about now. Oh, wow. So it's a story. Oh. And it, it's it's definitely something big. And I will send it to you when I'm done with it. I'll okay. be done in a couple more days or so. And I mean, I will, there's no rush, but yeah. I just want to make sure you, you, you're as pleased with it as you can. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because like, when I was... I kind of overwrote issue two with Noel. I I wrote I wrote a full script, which is not like how I wrote the first issue. Um, yeah. I had like panel descriptions in there and everything. I kind of like okay, and it, I was so tired, guys. Like I took a month and a half to write it. I was so tired. I didn't want to look at the, the laptop. You know, like, oh my god. Okay, <laughs> I may have gone overboard. I'm proud of it, but I, I think I should have just written it like the first issue, like. Without all the description, because Noel is there. All I have to do, Noel, fight scene, and he'll he'll he he know he'll know what to do, you know. <laughs> yeah, and it's just so great that that if you know all these characters in this comic book, uh, restore the Snyderverse, yeah. uh, release the Snyder Cut, veterans, whatever. We're, we're uh, yeah. you know we're all connected by that. <laughs> well, yeah, really and then there strange. will be there there will be Snyder references going forward. Little Easter. I'm really looking Snyder. forward to that. So, yeah. yeah, there will be in there. There'll be yeah. a Snyderverse uh, sticker. In yeah, there. because Mikey's got to give us his true colors. He's been a he's been a Snyder bot ever since it started. <laughs> 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 Mikey's the world's biggest Snyder fan. Didn't you know that? Yeah. <laughs> apparently. Apparently. Allegedly not. According, <laughs> according, to, according to betas, you know, Mikey is Mikey is the leader of a of a of some sort of cult. I'm a all, you're, a, you're a cult leader, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Then, uh, then, uh, <laughs> yeah. We all play the Mikey scoops every night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what we do. That's what we do. <laughs> the funniest, the funniest one I ever saw was, of all places, we got this covered. Okay, all of a sudden, <laughs> they slammed me. They said, "Well, Mikey Sutton's a card-carrying member of the yeah, Snyder Call. <laughs> so everything he says about Snyder is dubious." I'm like, "What? Yeah. <laughs> we got this cover calling me out <laughs> and saying that, I'm a of all people. Yeah, of all people, right? And then." Then saying that I'm like a card carrying member of the Snyder cult. I'm like, what? Speaking of that, you know, Mikey, we have to get you to resubscribe for that. You know, it's only a yearly membership. We gotta <laughs> renew it. <laughs> gotta be up. <laughs> you realize that we have to take Snyder cult. There you go. You know what's so funny, guys? It's like when I got the scoop, and I was a person that scooped it. Um, that's that standard and center cut will be on HBO Max. Right? I had the exact date right. Um, the timing of it was correct because Zack Snyder got the news like two weeks before I scooped it. Right, so everything fit perfectly. When I got that scoop, I told the guy, I said, "You read it, I'm a Spider Guy, right? Like Snyder fans don't like me, and I'm. You want me to put this out, you know?" 
And so, and I was not a Snyder fan. I mean, I admitted it, you know. I was like, because all I saw was Justice League, okay? I saw BBS, they read the theatrical version. I saw Man of Steel. I love 300. It's one of the greatest films I've ever seen in my life, mm-hmm. right? Watchmen was good. Um, well, I wasn't a Snyder fan by any means, but I was told the Snyder cut was going to happen in HBO Max. Now, keep in mind, John Campia was saying the pipe dream at this time. And, and, and there were others, Scott Mendelson, I think, was one. There were other people who were saying, nope, not going to happen. Like, Fandom Wire, I believe it was. Umberto. Umberto the Galactic. Umberto the Galactic. Yeah. 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 And I remember hearing about how pissed you guys were. Like, you know, like, and then this guy calls me up and says, You're going to want to put this out. Like, me of all people, you know. And I, and, um, I didn't have a website. There was no geekossimag.com back then. Spider Man guy. I was Spider Man guy. <laughs> I, was, I was called that guy on Facebook, is what they called me. Like, it was, it was out of bitterness, you know, all the, all the mm-hmm. betas back then. Is that is are these the same people that went and started saying Mikey Sutton and some black guy? Thanks, yeah, pretty much. yeah. People. yeah, same people, yeah. <laughs> yeah there you go. And uh, just just for the benefit of the audience, Mikey scooped the this is obviously not restored to Snyderverse related, the free Spider Man's being yeah. in and how yeah. how long how long before before that? every it was like years. Yeah, it was because I remember seeing it. Because I, yeah. like I've said this before, the only way I knew of Mikey was because I've been involved in Marvel and DC groups and stuff yeah. in the past. Was his name popping up every now and again? <laughs> yeah, I know. I recognise that name. Yeah, and like, yeah, well, for instance, the, the Spider-Man yeah. thing, you know. Yeah, but the, the big <laughs> one was um, one that catapulted me was the Spider-Man was coming back in the MCU because of the Sony deal. The Sony deal that was a big thing. Was yeah. Done, yeah. yeah. Um, Jeremy Conrad was saying, you know, it's, it's done. You know, Mikey said it's full of shit, you know. Um, you know, so I, I put it out there. I said, everybody's wrong. Everybody's wrong. You know, the, the deal is not done yet. They're still going to talk. Um, Sony was, was trying to get leverage, right? They were trying to get leverage from Marvel by saying, yeah. like, the door is closed. And comicbookmovie.com was saying, cry, fanboy, cry. Dream is over. Dead. And I went on the Facebook page innocently and I said, no, not done. Yeah. Well, talking of leverage, it's a bit of a Snyderverse connection there. Yeah. This is exactly what Ben Affleck's doing with the Batman. Oh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what do you think he's saying this? Uh, you know, uh, he's done the you know this old Matt Damon thing. I read that comment again. You know, today <laughs> I was thinking, what are you having a laugh? You want to know yeah. which one I love is that, hey, I just figured out how to play Batman while I was shooting the Flash. I just got to say, Mikey, me getting me, I consider me getting blocked by Jeremy Conrad on uh, Twitter. <laughs> and I consider that a badge of honor. I oh, mean, that, that is. That, that, is. that guy, that guy is such a was so <laughs> rude, vile, and disrespectful to everybody. Yeah. When he blocked me, I was so happy. I felt like it was my birthday. <laughs> and, 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 that's how I feel about Bluto. It oh, turns out he's, like, he's, like, he's a QAnon follower, which is hilarious. You know? <laughs> well, it figures. Hey, it really they is. called me QAnon the other day. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's oh, crazy. yeah. <laughs> so, Skywalker. Like, uh, That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've not had any of this yet. I've had a few little references of quotes I've said on other people's channels and a little bit of a subversive diss, but I'm, I've, I've, I'm in for it. I know I'm in for it. Just keep, doing, just keep doing panels like this. Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. definitely, <laughs> yeah. I told them... Hey, I told somebody else the other day, and I'm about to tell you right now. You have just sealed your fate, sir. It is a wrap. Yeah. From now yeah. on, oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. 
I've been dealing with it on Facebook for years, <laughs> but YouTube is a totally different game because oh, yeah. I'm sure they're going to get little clips of uh, me saying stuff, you know, like uh, whatever. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm not bothered, man. You know, it's free viewing. You know, you're just getting people to come and look at my channel. Thanks. Cheers. Well, <laughs> in order to find clips of me, you have to sit through story time first. So you got to <laughs> <laughs> like a month after I got the Spider-Man thing right, I said, "Oh, uh, Garfield McGuire coming back." I, I got the betas went nuts, right? Bullshit, <laughs> bullshit, you know. And yeah. look what happened, you know. And then I know. And this the yeah, same go. month I scooped Garfield McGuire. I scooped Snyder Cut that same month. <laughs> yeah. Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 met Sill. A few months later, right? He started. I, the site was up, right? He started covering me, and I went on this show, and I said, "So let's talk about Greg Berlanti and how great he is." <laughs> it's a look on his face, like he literally turned white. <laughs> like, um, um, <laughs> <laughs> like the wrong crowd for this, you know? <laughs> but it's just hilarious. <laughs> he is. Um, that fleck is the guy. You're right. Mikey, I got. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, I got a question for Mikey. I'm not sure if um, I might have missed this part, but did you talk about um, what Bat Dan's character is going to be in uh, Dreamwalker coming up? That's going to be a surprise. But, um, oh, oh, yeah. if it's, oh, oh, my God. Okay. It, but... okay. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> but, yeah, there is going to be some interesting cameos uh, coming up and some first appearances, so. Uh, yeah. you guys can't really, uh, oh, so I saw I'm I saw really, your go on. I'm just saying, really intrigued now, but I guess I'll, I'll keep it up, I'll respect the surprise. But no, <laughs> I, uh, the way Mikey put it is like, <laughs> so yeah, that's all. Yeah, I, I'm Skywalker. I'm really gonna have ah. character because <laughs> he's modeled after Darth Maul. We 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 have we have the final guest is here. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah. What's up? What's up? Hey. Hey. No, no, no. I have to catch my you know? You couldn't miss my brother's string, you know. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> he, he still hasn't gotten over the dog story from last night. Oh, <laughs> I almost, almost, almost like edited the video. I was like, I don't know. I was like, hey, still, we have, still, we're losing we to talk viewers, about buddy. <laughs> you know, you know on, on the menu for Scoop Center last night, all he has is story time ends 15 0 <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, that's it watch that out folks remember the the time time. <laughs> to check out sil and mikey's show sil abdul inc um scoop center every weekend oh, give or take and uh you can go see for yourself i could i said earlier i didn't catch it live because i have a things going on i caught most oh, of it today man. And uh, yeah, my brother was listening. Just go, what the <laughs> fuck are they going on? Now? I said, you don't even want to know. You don't even want to know. You don't even want to know. Honestly, you don't even want to know. I'll never forget the look on Sil's face. Though. That was priceless. He was like, he was like, he was like, sitting like this going, we're going to hey, get kicked yeah. off of YouTube for this. <laughs> 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 Y'all know, know, know now. We don't practice before we go live. <laughs> no. Hey, yeah. Go. That's proof. <laughs> Still had a dead stare in like ninety percent of the time. Did not Shit. move. I Dude, thought that was stream. Was you know? I thought, I thought <laughs> Phil was gonna. I thought Phil was gonna leave the stream and come back after <laughs> story time. <laughs> really, just my mind is blank. Really, I just yeah. Like, Mike, can you stop talking? <laughs> Phil, <laughs> I know. Phil, I know you weren't thinking about. I know you weren't thinking about dinner during all of that. I, I know that. Right, right. But <laughs> once I said the great game with mounting the girl, the look on Phil's oh, face. Oh my god! No. Oh my god! Right, so just, it was just, crazy. Just people, you know, with Scoop Center, like like the opening. That's like Mikey's like five, ten minutes. I don't know what he's going to do every week, so just, <laughs> just be ready. Nah, that was just be ready. ready. I'll have the time stamp ready if you want to jump past yeah. it. Mikey, Mikey, I'd like to request something that involves peanut butter next week. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm sure I, I'm sure in my memory bank I have something about that. Well, he'll start. I'll be like, oh, I'll be right back. Keep talking, Mike. Keep talking. <laughs> yeah, turn this so video know. on. Thanks. Oh, it's so I have to bat for that. You'll have to watch that story time. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, yeah. I've had so many friends who are taxi drivers. Oh my God, the stories they tell me. <laughs> the sketchiest, most disgusting stories. These guys live very unusual lives, okay? I mean, you're in your car all day, night, all day, all night long. You know, and you pick up strangers, you know, and some of the weirdest shit. And I'm like, What's the weirdest story? And, oh my god, the dog. The dog. I see the dog. <laughs> <laughs> that poor guy, man. Kind of spite blowing a dog. <laughs> is that a <laughs> is that Guys, uh, uh, I have to head out. Uh, have some things I got to get done. Oh, but okay. as always, all right. Hey, great. Phenomenal. Hey, it was great, you great having you on today, Trey. Thanks for coming, great. Trey, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thank absolutely. You, absolutely. Guys. Have a great hey, night. Man. Trey, I'm time. sorry that um that I didn't realize that you and Super Bro Corey were family <laughs> until yesterday. You know, <laughs> I hey, you know, we don't like to say it out loud. I just have to deal with that guy my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> <laughs> no, Super Bro Corey's the best. But guys, as always, it's a blast to hang out with you. Always, thank guys, you. And for the audience, check comments. out Trey's channel, the Bat Channel. Go and check okay, it out. Channel, one hundred percent. I'll see you later, guys. Sorry. Have a good one. Yeah, see you later, mate. Bye. Right, so uh, moving on from uh, Scoop Center, <laughs> back <laughs> to <laughs> everybody's tuned in, winning from Man of Steel two. Yeah, <laughs> and they've got Man of Steel two. <laughs> you, you said Man of Steel two, not crypto. Okay. Oh my god, my cheeks are. Oh yeah, super pet. That's coming out. <laughs> Super pets. Oh no! Don't let's oh, let's no. wait. This this is change the subject. For Christ's sake! <laughs> Super, Super pets. And then they're gonna come out with a, they're gonna come out with an extended cut called uh, Super Pets Super Schlong Edition. <laughs> so wrong. So wrong. Mike, Mikey's gonna do a commentary track on Scoop Center. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, we probably won't cover that movie. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't think that one will go down too well. <laughs> we'll talk YouTube for sure, then. Uh, uh, these people. Get them off YouTube now. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, Mikey, do you think you'll watch Super Pets before you finish the Batman? <laughs> Wait, I saw Peacemaker. I saw all of Peacemaker now, and they still can't sit through the Batman. Oh, oh no, you just wrong, reminded please. me of a comment I spotted, which was, um, yeah, oh, it's te terrible uh, in the chat for dissing the Batman. That's, that's you know, criticising a film that you don't like is uh, against the law now, apparently. Ah. That was, that was uh, yeah, that was uh, oh, yeah, that I was made a, a whole group of enemies. Like, I, I've yeah. never been attacked until Patterson fans attacked me. Uh, that was yeah. Like that was very interesting. That was the first yeah, pushback I ever attack. had, too, was after I said what I said about the Batman. Yeah. You know what yeah, I was saying? video, though. I was like, me and Zai was killing that movie, man. <laughs> and we we, deliver, we delivered though. such an awesome eulogy to that movie still <laughs> that Mikey can't finish it. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the girl just watching our review. Oh, here we go. Memo from Noel. Send your turnaround images to either Mikey or me for references. For the right. comic book. So we're right, now an artist go. and troublemaker. Noel Leon Flores. What do you mean turnaround images exactly? Staying lurking. Yeah. <laughs> so. You need stuff for your, for your comic book characters. Yeah. You can draw your likenesses. He's incredibly brilliant at that. Um, so I got some interesting stories today. Not, not dog stories, but. Um, yeah, please go. Hi, guys. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Say what's up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I got some discovery, quick, little, little, little discovery tidbits today. Uh, I spoke Nobody's with people. So. <laughs> yeah. so I, I spoke with uh, Discovery Insider today, which is very revealing what he told me about something. Uh, no particular consequence, but um, I asked him, "What's up with Our Man?" You know, because you know 
Me and Silk did an hour man special. You know, we can't we haven't been able to do it lately. Yeah, we got around to it. Yeah, we, we tried. So I said, I asked him about our man. He goes, What? What's our man? Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like, are, are you joking, sure? right? I mean, you guys <laughs> lived just like two years ago or so. He goes, No, I, mean, I know what you're talking about. You Our Man and Star Girl? No, I mean, not yeah. I the movie that you guys were going to do. Because oh. yeah. I, I haven't heard anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mikey, I have. A- a question though. Um yeah. is this one of the WB Discovery Insiders that got terminated five weeks back that you guys, you know, <laughs> oh, yeah. you <laughs> <laughs> lost yeah. your connections yeah. apparently. Yeah, I don't know where, 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 where did that come from? I'm still I like, don't know. Oh, the man. people just make shit up now. Yeah, the guy, the guy, we lost. The guy like, was I, the guy was crazy. I mean, he was literally <laughs> celebrating our video. I sent the video to Sill. Oh, the, the oh, was, we, oh, I probably didn't even watch it. The weirdo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wacko, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> oh, not that it same one that up. done the mask thing, the cult thing. Not it's the same the, guy. Mikey, it's the one with like thirty accounts, Mikey. Oh my god. Oh, god. Oh, yeah. yeah. The guy oh, that the guy god. that the guy that infiltrated the uh all these all these chat groups and always goes where he doesn't yep. where he's not wanted and he <laughs> has aliases. like 20 20 gazillion different aliases. Yep. Some of them are female. I mean, he's yeah, he's total he's out of his mind for real. Like as soon as I yeah. figure out oh, it's him, okay, block. Yeah. <laughs> like anytime I see any of his accounts. Uh, no, but, I mean, guy. like I said, we do DC updates every week. Uh, we've done it for the yeah. last five weeks and five weeks before that. So we, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just I did not still two it updates. Was so, he was so gleeful about the two of you having lost your DC sources. I was like, <laughs> what is he talking about? Hey, man. Yo. Ben Walker and I'll All talk right. a little bit about that tonight, though. We'll talk. Hey, about yo, that. man, it's yo, it's going to be a lot going down now. You guys have no idea what happened earlier. Oh, it's going to get ugly oh, right. later. Okay. I promise you. I promise you. Hey, and it might be some other people too, not just mm-hmm. I. You know what I'm saying? Might be some yeah. other people stopping by, but that'll be a surprise. Well, yeah. I'll have to catch some of that. I'll have to catch some of that. I uh I went to go see that black phone earlier. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. How was that too? Uh, yeah. I re- really enjoyed it. Me and Elisa yeah. gonna do a big, you know, a big that. review on that real yeah. soon. But uh see that. Nah, man, like I really like Scott Derrickson, like this this is up there with like Sinister to me. Uh, oh, I think that's the best film he's done. Uh, this is up there with the best film he's done. Like, I love right. Sinister. That's, yeah. Ethan Hawke is wonderful in there. Like, it, it's yeah. I'll say Ethan Hawke's in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he yeah. plays the yeah. film. Yeah. He's a, this, um, this is a good film. Yeah, like I have kind of been seeing trailers for this a, a while back. I think that this is one of those movies that kind of got pushed back because of the pandemic, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Because that's I've been seeing trailers for that long. But like ever since I saw that very first trailer, I have been absolutely hooked, and uh, I will be checking it out. Absolutely. Yeah, see, it's it's through Universal, right, and Bloomhouse. But Universal's been smart; like they push, you know, like Fast and Furious as far as they could. They push everything back, and I mean, it's a low budget film. They, they spent like fifteen million to make it. They already made twenty five million domestically. Wow! I'm sure wow. they got another ten worldwide. So they they're just straight profit right now with this film. No, Back, right. check that out. I think. That was awesome, awesome. Unlike the Batman, which I like the Batman. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> they had to pay oh, off their hate message. A hate it's message coming in. <laughs> they had to pay off them back out You know what I'm saying? Cow <laughs> <laughs> is the best thing about it, man. Those cow man. Yeah. With that extra cat woman I, song. I had to get two. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you always, you always need the extra. Yeah, I saw Calzone more than I saw the Batman. Yeah, more, more yo, and they yeah. literally yeah. had the Hamada burgers in Mexico. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was real. Though. That was real. Yeah, yeah. 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 They were really yeah. selling <laughs> Hamada burgers. I post. I posted. I posted it on Facebook and tagged you in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> with, actual, with actual cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. Liquid, liquid <laughs> cheese. <laughs> 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 You got the cheese, me, yeah. boy. <laughs> utter, utterly <laughs> sounds terrible. <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. Hey, just my reaction to 
the Snyder sandwiches, which was all meat, no cheese, no bologna. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Good over here. <laughs> oh, boy. So I, asked, I asked my insiders, yeah. when, like, I asked my hour man uh, today, and so I said, do you happen to give me any update on on the Batman the Batman film, you know, but not not Pattinson, but Ben Affleck. Oh. I said, is there right. anything you can give me? I mean, is there anything I can say? So I tell them I'll, I'll be on the air today. Anything they probably text I, you. I can share. And he said, which which one? I said the Ben Affleck one. No, I mean which Ben Affleck one? Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a All minute. Right. Multiple. Wait a minute here. Which one? Yeah. So he said he'll give me more information in the next couple of days. Um, but we might be looking at more than one film. A trilogy, really? maybe a trilogy for better. I don't know. Time. I don't want to go that far, but I don't, you know me, I don't, I don't want to speculate until I hear something uh-huh. solid. Well, I'm, I'm going to speculate. Very smart. Trilogy. <laughs> but, I'm yeah. saying, but I'm saying trilogy. So all y'all betas out there right now, y'all going to Yeah, so am I. I'm saying trilogy as well, so you can blame it on me. Trilogy. <laughs> y'all, y'all just, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to trilogy too. I did find too. out what that Patterson, you know, why was that announced at CinemaCon, you know, the, the sequel. Right, yeah. and uh, they already had the contract signed, so it was, it was literally yeah. just like an option. Yeah. And yeah. again, it was a save face for Toby Emmerich because people were so worried, like, "Oh my God, they, you know, they extended Matt Reeves." Like, no, he signed a contract, and they had like an option for to second and third film. So, oh yeah, they went ahead and just it's you know in the option. The beginning, yeah, doesn't it's mean funny they're gonna how make that it. <laughs> I'm just saying like, that still doesn't mean they're gonna make it. <laughs> You know, I, I was hearing this um, <clears throat> bogus oh, yeah, report look at again. New gods. Look at new gods. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I keep hearing this bogus rumor going around that Miss Marvel is, is it, and uh, it's, it's already got renewed. Okay, they haven't announced it yet. Season two is coming. Um, oh, Miss Marvel. I, yeah. They have an audience. I'm, I'm I'm, I mean, yeah, they, they came out with the numbers. They had better numbers than Peacemaker. Oh, yeah. I like Marvel. Yeah. Damn. Good. <laughs> That's I'm actually sticking up for Marvel now. Fuck Peacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's I hate that shit. Me over there, that's <laughs> ever, right? You know, I might as well. Look, I didn't have time yesterday. I saw Peacemaker. Let me give you my thoughts really quick on it. Okay? Um, yeah. Now, you guys know I did not, I did not like a suicide spot whatsoever. Uh, no, my so. review on the site. Boy, that triggered a lot of people. I was shocked at how many people that triggered. I was on, on, on Rogue's Gallery at the time. It got triggered, right? Um, Peacemaker is better than Suicide Squad. I'll say that. It's, it's in my opinion. I think it's actually, I saw all the episodes of Peacemaker. Suicide Squad was a struggle for me. Okay, I was like, first 30, 40 minutes, I kind of laughed a little bit. The characters were all unlikable in that film. It's funny because mm-hmm. I thought Margot Robbie was annoying in, in that movie. She was the worst part of the film. I was like, how yeah, do you mess yeah. up Margot Robbie? How? Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How, and, how? How do you mess her up in anything? Like, you know, exactly. Stupid. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? I'm actually tempted to go and see that Barbie movie just because she's in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Margot Robbie's oh. awesome, man. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Kill a couple of hours, isn't it? <laughs> I, I will say this. Um, if you look at Peacemaker as a parody, it works better, EK, because it, it's it's making fun of 80s action films. If, I, if they see it like that, that's how I got through Vigilante. Otherwise, I would not be able to get through Vigilante. Uh, nah. But we are going to do a serious Vigilante, by the way, outside of James Gunn, so don't worry about it. You'll, you'll get the real Vigilante. <clears throat> yeah, because oh. I remember yeah. the comic version uh, was a lot different to that Peacemaker yeah. one. It was just, so, it was just John a Cena made that show to me, okay? Take out John yeah. Cena. But anybody else in that role would not have worked. Okay, yeah. I thought Robert Patrick was That's good, hilarious. and but Cena, Cena and Eagley are the best things about that show. Yeah. And Robert Patrick, I thought those three. Um, I thought the first two episodes or so were the best, and then it kind of it kind of fell apart. Like the last episode was <clears throat> not good. Um, James Gunn has a problem with big budgets, I think. Like he feels the need to do this epic thing, and he's not he's not good at it. Um, like Starro. Yeah, Starro exactly. <laughs> it had the same problem. 
Um, the only the only thing that was better is shorter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, in but, Guardians too, right, Mikey? Yeah, he had a, he Eagle, yeah. Was it? Yeah, he Eagle, whatever his name was, and the third act. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, got, he's got a third act problem, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think mm-hmm. because he started off as an indie filmmaker and he still has indie in his blood, right? Um, he's just not made for that. Um, yeah, that's a lane like, for James Gunn. You know, yeah, it's name. as a James Gunn project, it's okay. I didn't hate it. I didn't, didn't dislike it. That the Suicide Squad, I sat through it. I like the Batman, um, but it's nothing. It's nothing I'll remember. No, but let, let's get let's get to the elephant in the room, which is the cameo with the Justice League at the end. Yeah. Um, I was point, to say so. There's point yeah. so really no point to it. Nah. Um, it was mm-hmm. maybe the jail. You know, still made a great point. Can you imagine if the Avengers showed up? You know, let's say let's say Tony Stark was still alive, and you know they showed up at the end of Hawkeye. How awesome that would be! That would have broke the internet. Broke the internet, right? So they yeah. had an opportunity here, do something incredible with it. But instead, you get like you know fish fucking jokes. I mean, all of a sudden, it became story time, right? You know? oh, yeah. <laughs> I, Mike, I think did the you finale. Write that cameo, please be I... honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what? Right, I've actually got to put my hand up here. Even though it was an ongoing joke for years about Aquaman fucking the fish, yeah, I did actually make that um, Aquaman fish joke with the pictures. From Justice League back in the yeah. day, so I went back and found it. It was actually me that done it. Oh. <laughs> and I was going around blaming it everyone, going James Gunn's trash and all it, that. It was Barry. It was you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you would have got away with it too if it wasn't for those damn kids. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, do you remember this thing you made? I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> James Gunn's been watching my Facebook. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's, I will say it's, it's, it's okay. I, I, I'll give it like a 7 out of 10 scale, maybe, if I'm being nice. Well, maybe for John Cena mainly, because I, I thought he was great. Yeah. Hey, but was, did, was, was Batman left out of scene just to be petty? I mean, I know they couldn't use Ben, but couldn't they just... They shot some? footage, yeah. With they the did. They shot it. with the actors... They weren't yeah. obviously Ben. People dressed yeah. up as them, but well, then they couldn't. So there was a the something rumor, went on. The rumor was it was so close to Patterson. For some reason, they didn't want to do like another image of Batman. Uh, right. <laughs> but like DC, DC again is like ignoring they have a multiverse. It's, just, it's stupid. Yeah. It's really stupid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, wasn't that scene filmed on a Marvel set while James Gunn was doing... Um, uh, God, something else at Marvel, and they actually that's, filmed yeah, oh, the yeah. Peacemaker that scene that is right. at Marvel Studios. I mean, come on, like, that's if a bit, that's uh, true. They probably was laughing the whole time, like, "What's this? Like, this is yeah. against? Let's well, put well, on She-Hulk." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really funny. Like, this is well, this the company. They dig their own graves, you know. Um, oh, man. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's like I watched it and I probably won't remember it. <laughs> no, I struggled to oh, get through it, and I'm going to struggle with season two of Peacemaker. No disrespect to the fans, if you like that kind of thing, it's just yeah, you can have it. Yeah, it's just definitely not for me. I mean, I'm going to hate <laughs> watch it, right? It's going to be good for content. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be I'm good to watch. rip the absolute shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a guilty pleasure for me. I enjoyed it, but it was not a good like. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't like good. Mikey, yeah, yeah, Mikey, how did you like the finale of Obi Wan Kenobi? My God, okay. oh, I was Obi-Wan. just about to get to that. Yeah, before before I go into that, um, I saw Miss Marvel last night. That was the best episode they had so far. Yeah, had the coolest fight yeah. scene, most yeah. inventive fights I've ever seen for Disney Plus. Yeah. Marvel show. <laughs> I get more than Peacemaker. Sorry, Peacemaker fans, but this yeah. is more my. I'm, I'm gonna have to catch know, up like, with that. Like I said, Miss Marvel, you know, it has an audience, right? And I, I really, yeah. that's a, that's like a sitcom to me. It's like it is. It's an 80s sitcom. It just, it is a very. I'm not expecting nothing major from it. I'm like, oh, this is. Okay. Okay. But last night took a dark turn, though. I mean, it, you can yeah. tell it, okay. it changed tonally. Um, now, Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay, I can't. This stop is my. Me. This is my thing, man. Oh my yeah. god! That yeah. is one of the best Star Wars. I saw Star Wars opening day on May twenty fifth, seventy seven. I was there. 
Gay Century Theater, Sacramento, California. We were among the few hundred theaters that had the screening. I had no idea what I was going to watch because my sister's boyfriend at the time was working at the theater. He got us free passes to a film that I, had, I saw the trailer for. I was like nine years old. I just like, what am I watching? I was just totally blown away. Um, but Obi-Wan Kenobi, I literally weeped at the end. I mean, I was so moved. Um, it was good. Yeah. Like the whole thing was good. Good. last 10, 15 minutes. Oh my God. Um, we finally got to see um, Anakin and Obi Wan face each other, like like after he turned, like because you know we saw Darth Vader in New Hope. All those years have passed already. You didn't get the context of of that meeting like you did last night. Mm-hmm. Um, and I love the part where Anakin goes, um, "You didn't kill me. I, I I I did. You know, you didn't turn me yeah, into yeah. that." Yeah. That's heavy. The thing that I always, that I got about Obi Wan Kenobi about the whole series, and yeah. the thing that blo- that blew me away, Mikey, on the level of what you're talking about, yeah, is that so many of these idiots were complaining about the flashback between Ewan McGregor and uh, Hayden Christensen <laughs> about yeah. about them not aging Hayden Christensen down, and I'm like, you idiots, you're totally missing the point of what Deborah yeah. Chow is going for yeah. here. It's not Offer that scene. Excellent. That scene was not a flashback. That scene was it was what was going on in Anakin's yeah. and Obi Wan's heads. It was yeah. to, it was yeah. it was to represent and to show that that Anakin Skywalker right. never gets the lessons that Obi Wan was trying to teach him. Yeah. It shows that no matter what, mm-hmm. even because Anakin is so high, strong, and obsessed with defeating <coughs> everybody. He thinks he's the best that there is. They were yeah. trying to show that even at 35 years old, Anakin would still be a Padawan because he never learns he the never lessons. Learned, right? and that's, yeah. what they, yeah. that's what they were trying to show. And, you know, and yeah. all these idiots misinterpreted it. Oh, I wish they would have aged down Anakin. <laughs> so, like, no, no, hey, come, Hayden uh, looks pretty good. Was it 20 years ago? It still yeah, looks pretty yeah. good for his age. Oh, hell so yeah. Cool. But no way to that, Zod. The choreography in an ending fight with Vader. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 This is yeah. 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 In that fight. Yeah. Waiting yeah. for this since, you same, know. Same move. Same move. Yeah. To, to it was amazing. Add, yeah. so, that like, you, oh my so that you can I'm totally like, see. Yeah. You not, so yeah. you that totally was awesome. see what I'm what I'm saying about that. Yeah. How yeah. like that. was literally doing the same when it was back to back. And he was doing I was like, this is amazing. Like, are people getting this? Like, Great point, Scott. Uh, that's exactly right. I agree with you totally there. Um, what got me was that when I actually heard people say, and, and I can't believe they said this, that Anakin, that Reva cannot be redeemed. When Anakin Skywalker killed younglings and he turned became Vader, he redeemed himself when he saved his son Luke Skywalker's life from the Emperor and, and picked up the Emperor and threw him down yeah. the shaft of the Death Star. If anything can become redeemed, anybody in Star Wars can become redeemed. Well, but Reva chopped off a white woman's right, right hand. That's why she can't yeah. be redeemed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you, got, you got to understand the problem. No, yeah, the problem with Reva is Reva, went, Reva. Reva went too. Reva went too far. That's what that's she went about. Too far that oh, yeah. No, but I, you know, like me, me and Sylvie been joking about this. I loved Reva from the start, right? right, right. And uh, oh, yeah, we got interaction figure for real. We, we, we say so, we, we, we done. I done a stream with Sil and a stream with Trey the Bat Channel. And I did actually say I've got a feeling she might be a turn turn at the end to the good side and join the, and join yeah. the rebels, and, yeah. uh, and she did. So that's 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 my first receipt. <laughs> well, you know, well, on YouTube anyway. The essence of Star Wars is redemption. It's, 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 that's the whole purpose of Star Wars. Is uh, like I said, when, like a lot of people my age didn't like the prequels, right? And I said, no, you don't get it. The prequels make the original trilogy even better. Yeah. Uh, yep. Because yeah. the son redeems the father. That's yeah. like the whole point of Star Wars. Mm-hmm. The yes. son redeems the father. And, you know, you see all the horrible things the father did. You see why he turned that way. That's why the whole story is very biblical. If you look at the whole Star Wars yep. story uh, from beginning to end, this adds to it. It adds to the depth of the character because you see the, the guilt that Obi-Wan feels. And you never got that in A New Hope. You never saw that guilt. 
Like, like you like you really feel it now. If you watch a new hope now after seeing this, like wow, you really feel the emotions there behind it all, right? Um, Wow. I, I love it. I think everyone is a classic. It's going to be some more Delta Squad streams. I'll be there. I had to miss a couple because of some personal stuff I had to deal with. Um, and the same stuff with Seal. You know, ongoing, we're yep. going to be doing some Star Wars stuff between yeah, us all. Yeah, next week, uh, uh, David. Uh, yeah. We'll do our Force Sensitive with, uh, with Trey, uh, the back yeah. channel, and, uh, and, and Savage. And I'll back. get something we'll worked out. a nice out. recap of Obi-Wan uh, next yeah, week. Yeah, definitely. And... Nice. Um, and not just that, though, the future, we've got Andor coming up, uh, Ahsoka, yeah, Andor, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tales of the Jedi, The Bad yeah, Batch, I'm, maybe, if you fa yeah. if it fancy yeah. doing that. I'm a big if fan it, of The Bad pops, Batch. Yeah, if The Bad if, Batch gives us like some good stories to talk about, I'll definitely, yeah, we'll definitely do Yeah, that. yeah, we'll have to say, that's a, that's a, that's a grey area, that one. But yeah, um, but Obi-Wan, for me, seriously, after... You know, reading the negative response from some of the internet on it, <laughs> and, you know, I'm just yeah, like, seriously, yeah. just shut the fuck up, will you? And enjoy it. That really revived. No, me. man, like, seriously. I was, planning, I was planning for sensitive like since last year, and I really fell off from doing Star Wars, right? And so David really inspired me to get back into it. Um, and then Trey helped out because I was like, I was, get, I was getting tired of just every video being negative, like. I hate yeah. Disney. I hate Star Wars. Yeah. It's like, yeah. okay, is it really that deep? I mean, you can find stuff nope. you don't like about it, but you know, yeah. you got like something. Let's come on now. Like, no, yeah. I hate everything. All you want came up with what the last, the last Jedi should have been. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because you know, my. I was just about to get to this. Oh, yeah, because. Yeah, Luke Skywalker's final scene should have been kicked ass. Okay. Like, yeah, it should have. Yeah, it was fucking lame. It was lame. I don't understand why they didn't have him actually go to the planet and then actually die. If they were going to kill him off, like it would have meant so much more if he would have actually went and like fought. That's Kylo because it, died that's because it makes and no fucking dead. sense as well. Yeah, he so died so from force exhaustion, subverting of subverting oh, expectations. It was like a gotcha, like oh, he, oh, he uh, tell oh, what did he do that? Uh, the force hologram, so, yeah, projection. Like, yeah, oh, gotcha. Like yeah. Shit. <laughs> then he goes yeah. back. Oh, he died. Mind gotcha you. again. Uh, <laughs> mind oh, you, oh, man, man, no wonder. Uh, but yeah, no. We uh, do, do you know what's been really, really annoying is the sort of bigger pages. I think it's comic book resources. They're well known for coming out of oh. a complete load of bullshit, and <laughs> they they yeah. come out with um, this this narrative that they keep pushing was the last Jedi, then something to do with the Mandalorian. The last Jedi, then something to do with Obi Wan Kenobi. Do you know what I mean? You've you've not got you've, you're not understanding. That ninety percent of us, yeah, hate the sequels, yeah, and we love yeah. this new stuff. Why do you keep making comparisons? We want to fucking forget about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Give it up. You know, it's, Yo, it's, well, it's, I mean, it, 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 no, it makes you mad. So, yeah, you keep trying to click. Connect them to, yeah, to make fan outrage. And yeah, it's just like, what? Why are you even bothering? Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you know, I know this last Jedi fans. Come on. Yeah, like, I, I, I can't wait for a Darth Vader show. I'm so excited about the Darth Vader show and seeing Natalie Portman on there. I'm very, very excited about that. I'm always excited to see Natalie Portman. To be honest with you. <laughs> 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 Obi-Wan Kenobi is. Wow, I mean, I'm just blown. But Ewan McGregor's performance was incredible. And we got Qui-Gon Jinn back at the last episode. Yeah, oh, I love that scene. Love and that you got Vader mask cut open, and you get to see yeah. Anna, Anakin's face yes. I mean, in live action. And, yeah, and people are Rebels. complaining about that. I'm like, what the fuck do they want? Oh, it's man, been the best scene in the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That fight was brutal, man. It's, it's, it's kind of funny yeah. how both. Go, go, go on, Pat. Dan was going to say? It's, it's kind of funny how both Anakin's former master and apprentice both do the exact same lightsaber half unmasked thing. The Ahsoka yeah. episode yeah. of Rebels, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that did. was great. That's I've said that's one of my favorite scenes in Star Wars is uh, with the Inquisitors, Vader, Ahsoka. Um, it's so, so powerful. That is, you know, really, really is. And I'm so glad that they did that. 
Um, you know, and people, uh, you know, the, the complainers. Oh, you're just fan servicing. Like, well, yeah, looking out for what the fans want. What's the wrong with that? I mean, giving giving the fans what they want. Well, <laughs> I don't understand. Like the, the that, that Obi Wan scene was so powerful. Like I think, like you know, you get these people who just hate Disney Star Wars no matter what. Like so all these people just hated the show before they even saw it. And I'm like, well, of course you said it was bad. You didn't give it a chance. Yeah, that's so, all. Yeah, I, well, that's it. It's Disney, so I hate it regardless. Yeah, I was um I was gonna bring that up earlier. How it was funny how early on so many people had a lot of problems with the Reba character and supposedly like her her knowing anakin broke canon and all that stuff right and then later in the series they have an and you know that they showed it there's a reason why she actually knew who anakin was and it didn't break canon right that was just kind of interesting um you know i'm blowing you have to watch yeah. the whole series to understand yeah. it yeah who would have thought gotta give stuff a chance yo good god <laughs> The only criticism I will give Obi Wan, it seems like everyone but Qui Gon can sur survive a lightsaber stab. That's the only yeah. Yeah. nitpick I'll give it. But again, nothing's nothing's perfect. But yeah, that's oh, yeah. the only fair criticism I've right. seen. Yeah. You know, hey, so kind who of knows? She, she might even have like some cybernetic stuff there. You know what I'm saying? After she got stabbed that first time, we don't even know. Like. You know, yeah. they never really showed um, her, her, her abdomen area like that. Yeah. So we don't even know. Do you want to? Yeah, see she had a sort of band like that. I mean, <laughs> but they done yeah. that with Ming Ming Na Wen's character in the Absolutely. Mandalorian. She got she that's got right. uh, she got the Darth Vader treatment on her stomach. So maybe that's, that's what they it. were trying to they were trying to illustrate that by sh by even showing us that that people can get spliced and repaired that way that would be just what we would assume since they didn't show That's... us that with reva but i'm definitely getting the reva black series figure i can't wait yeah definitely Darth Maul got cut in half and he's back i mean yeah. he's, back. <laughs> he's cut yeah. in half man yeah everyone but qui-gon survives this stuff <laughs> well what they say the um, the jedis can't um, survive it because the sith used to hate to not to let themselves die so yeah. Into the Sith, you know, they got that willpower. Revenge does wonders for um, exactly that's you know, it. That's the, it. the last Jedi was garbage. Yes, you get a thousand <laughs> bat points for that comment. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, but look, I would say that er, you know, ever since the sequel trilogy kind of ended, I've been liking most of the stuff that they've been putting out. So, so have I. I think all of it. Right, I, lo I love all of it. It, the, apart from the beginning of Boba Fett, did get off to a little bit of a rough start. Uh, the book yeah. of Boba Fett, but it made up less for it. Less talking in Boba Fett too. Like he has to do less talking and more having his helmet on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Tamir, Tamir Morrison's already come out and spoke about this and said he wasn't happy with the way it went and he wants badass Boba Fett back, which Boba we saw Fett a little bit. Has to have action. I mean, he yeah. needs to be kicking ass. That's Boba Fett. Yeah. Yeah, and to have that's... his own show this time too. Yeah, yeah. which is he actually kind of about him. By, uh, Mando, right? You know what I'm saying? He kind of got shown up by Mando. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> let's let's be honest. But Tamara <laughs> Morrison knows this as well. He says, going forward, that we're going to, uh, you know, make sure um, that. Uh, yeah, we're going to make sure uh, that um, we get. Uh, you know, the, the badass Boba Fett back. We, we saw a little bit of it in, was it Mandalorian season two with the Bill Burr episode? Yeah. Yeah. That, that was, that was great. You know, and the end of book of Boba Fett when they teamed up, he teamed up with a Mandalorian and things like that. You know, that was like uh proper, okay. Corral Western stuff, which, you know, I really loved. Nice and, shoot uh, out. Hold on. I'm just, uh, I'm back. Sorry about that. All yeah, good, cool. Mike. Yeah. So anyway, we've gone completely off subject here. Yeah? <laughs> the Savage Bat <laughs> Channel's turned into that Obi Wan Kenobi show. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We got. We can't not talk about the greatest event of the year. Honestly, really, 
out of all the TV shows and movies, you know, I've not seen Top Gun yet. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to love it. I will this week, I think. Um, I'll, 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 same. I'm going to put ma- It's a masterpiece. But I think Obi Obi Wan is probably going to be my favorite thing, though. Wait, 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 wait. Who hasn't seen Top Gun yet on this panel? I haven't seen seen it yet. Oh my god, you guys are bugging. I haven't seen the first one. I've seen the new one, but not the first one. What? What the fuck? Bad damn! I haven't seen the one. I haven't seen the original. I haven't seen the new one. Yo, you guys are crazy. You need to be watching it right now. Watching Top Gun right now. Like, I saw the original in the Philippines with a bunch of Air Force guys fucking when it first came out. Um, so that and was then wild. the uh, yeah. Terry Nunn of Berlin signed me Take My Breath Away over the phone uh, live. And that's one of the most memorable. I had like 2,000 <laughs> What? What I definitely will say is they played Take My Breath Away a little bit too much in that first one. <laughs> it's like the number one song. Uh, but Obi-Wan, can I just want to mention about Obi-Wan Kenobi? At the very end, um, after uh, uh, Darth Vader's helmet gets cut open, right? You notice, you hear Anakin come out of him. Where he starts saying that you didn't kill Anakin, I did. Uh, you hear the real person. You don't, you don't just, you know, hear Vader. You hear that yeah. Anakin inside. That was a very moving part. And just the, the re- reactions from you and McGregor, my that acting was just superb. Um, how can you not be moved by that? You know what I mean? You can be moved if your whole if your whole platform depends on grifting and hating Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. there, you there you go. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so anyway, back to restore the Snyderverse. <laughs> We've got <laughs> um, it's, the, the clues being dropped, and you know Mikey's scoops and stuff. You know the the, the evidence of um, it all coming together and happening. It's 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 good times, and you know just you know for the benefit of the audience, don't listen to people that are just being negative about it because uh, you know they haven't done the research. You don't don't know what's going on. Do you know what I mean? You have to pay attention to these things. Oh yeah, the, uh, the, the restore the, the Snyderverse is coming. Yeah, the, the puzzle pieces are right there. Like like a year and a half ago, I said Sarnoff was gone, Amara's yeah. gone. Emmerich is gone. All the betas were up in arms, right? They were yeah. saying, oh, you know, bullshit, you know. Uh, Emmerich is saying, no, they're all gone. They're all gone. <laughs> Business as usual is what they were saying, Mikey. <laughs> Business yeah, right. as usual. Yeah. I, that never happens in a merger. <laughs> it just doesn't Status matter. quo, right? Status yeah. quo. Status that was another yeah. term. Well, Wonder Twins will save Hamada's job, you know. <laughs> <laughs> is. The Batman was gonna save Emmerich's job too, right? You know what I'm saying? Oh, it'll hit a billion, right? Skywalker hit a billion, right? Absolutely, easy, easy. <laughs> they they were saying that a year ago. You know what I'm saying? And they were going to want to act like no, nobody said it was gonna make a billion. Why? Are, <laughs> why are you guys even saying this? You know who even said that to begin with? Like him, yeah, Warner Brothers said it. Bro. They said themselves. <laughs> I mean, Batman v Superman was supposed to be a billion, which you know it would have been if someone had you know not cut the film. But yeah, yeah, but they had Sparkle Bats this time, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, to be honest with you, I don't even know what to think about the future of the. Uh, Reeves verse, if you want to call it that. Um, with uh, Reeves verse, yeah, do you know, with this stuff about Mr. Freeze and stuff, after, after the way he dealt with Riddler and that in the Batman, you know, I'm not expecting to see an accurate Mr. Freeze. It's gonna well, be it's gonna be a that, film, first of all, is what I'm told. Um, yeah, but I'd rather see it a, a basically. A real, you know, like the animated version of Mr. Freeze put on film was what I'd like to see, and we're not going to get that from Matt Reeves. Do you know what I mean? 
it's you know that's unfortunate, but because you guys remember you know, that Heart of Ice episode from uh, Batman the animated series? Brilliant. Yeah, of course, man. Yeah. That still, still, still uh, breaks yeah. my heart every time. I see go. my Nora with frozen eyes. Yeah. It just gave me chills when I when I saw that. Uh, here we go. That's my signed by Kevin Conroy, Batman the wow. animated series. Wow. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Uh, just, just, just to rub it in the wounds. Uh, Batman Beyond, signed by Kevin Conroy and Will Friedel. <laughs> oh, there you go. I got to meet them at uh, the Wales Comic Con. I've not been to many Comic Cons, just little yeah, ones and stuff. Yeah, but that was great to meet them. They're both incredible guys, and um, it's funny. Will Friedel just sounds exactly the same as he did in Batman Beyond. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just it's amazing to meet them. That was so Hopefully cool. Hopefully one day I'll meet Zack Snyder and get a picture with him and break the internet. Can you imagine yeah. that? Imagine the reaction. Well, are, everybody always called you a Snyder cultist now, so that <laughs> would yeah. that probably wouldn't break the internet. There'd be people would just be like, "See, we told you. We told you so. We told you." Yeah. Yeah. Take, still need to get take the L, Mikey. That's what they'll be saying. <laughs> take the L. <laughs> I get Zach on Coffee Talk. That's where you need to see. Get Come in the around. desert. Comb in the desert for L's, you know? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Can we personally send an L to Bluto? Because I didn't send Bluto a whole lot of L's. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good Austin in the chat. Hi, man. There's uh, hey, one of the peeps out there. Yeah, that's right. Kevin Conroy is the OG. Yeah, he's great. He's such a nice guy, a gentleman to meet, you know. And uh, yeah, re 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 really, really nice guy. Yeah, he and I are Facebook friends, actually. Um, yeah. They have on one of these streams one day. Yeah, that would be great. But, you know, yeah. we're all the Snyder cultists. We don't enjoy anything other than <laughs> no. Snyder DC. Yeah, that's yeah. good. We don't even watch movies from other directors, yo. No, no. Like we only watch <laughs> Zack Snyder movies. Yeah. Exactly. We're, we're Just in, got we're, this little collection about that big, and it's all Zack Snyder. In, we're, we're in a, yeah, we're in we're in an exclusive relationship here, people. We don't. We don't, yeah. <laughs> we don't watch nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we live, breathe, and and spell. Spell. Either, that's it. Yeah. I don't know where Look. these people get these ideas from, though. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, Jesus all Christ. those takes about Obi Wan, they're all made up. None of us even watch it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just uh, yeah, copy and pasting someone else. Someone else has said. Yeah, it's, but, it's pure yeah. all Snyder all the time. Pure Snyder. Yeah. In fact, in fact, in fact, Mikey should change the name of the site from Geekosity to Snyderosity. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 Zachosity. That's an April Fool's Day. You should do that. That's like an April Fool's gag, actually. April yeah. Fool's Day, you know? Snyder Ossie. Like, yeah. 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 Change your Twitter name and everything. They <laughs> <laughs> go crazy. I have a meltdown. Oh, my God. They're going to die. It's, it's true. true. Hey, hey, it's true. true. I, I, I got to get going. I got to uh, prep Gikasi for tomorrow, thinking of which. Um, great okay. being on the stream, David. The guys love seeing you guys here. The Rogues Gallery for Silver. Um, yeah. Mikey. Thank you, Mikey. Th thank you so much for coming, Yo. Mikey, and giving me Yo. your time Thanks, today. Mikey. Thank you, Mikey. Much mate. Uh, seriously. You All right, take care, guys. And Skywalker, your villain is awesome. Just wanted to say. Um, hey, hey, he I'm going to DM you on Instagram. You know what you're I'm saying? The, you're the Darth Maul of the group. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, pow, pow. And I'm going to give all my Star Wars influences on uh, Skywalker there, obviously, with the name and everything. But um, right. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Like, I'm already like, outlining the fight scenes for the Silver and Gold uh, story. Nice. Story, so, which mm. is gonna be can't cool. wait. Can't wait. And I'll have some Slayer scoops coming up, like the, the whole Batman. Updates in the back of Ben Affleck. He, he Mikey, Mikey right. got new sources, folks. He got new sources. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, <laughs> try to tune in later, Mikey. It's going to get really interesting. It's going to get really yeah. interesting. Yeah, get I love hairy. your channel, man. I've been watching your channel. You, 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 the, the fact you're able to, to command 
people's attention for an hour just by yourself. To me, that, that, that's work, dude. That's work. That's not easy to do. And you do a great job of doing it, dude. I'm serious. Hey. Yeah. Well, salute to you, sir. Salute to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Necron, Zod, Tox, Bat Dan, um, Savage Bat, Skywalker, you guys, have a great evening. Um, you too. Well done. Mike. All right, take care, buddies. Take care. See you, See you there. Thank you, Thanks, brother. Mikey uh -huh. Bass. Awesome. Right. That was awesome. It was great for him uh, to give us our time today because uh, we know he's a very busy man. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so individually, what's 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 your thoughts? We'll start start off with you, Zod. Right, uh, the 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 future of the Star Wars. What, what's your feelings on it? And uh, where, where do you, where do you think we're going now, uh, as a fandom and the movies? You know, both. Well, my feelings are one hundred percent optimistic and positive. I feel it's happening. I know it's happening. And to be honest, that's all that matters. As long as we know that it's happening. All yeah. this other stuff in the background that's happening is nothing but noise, and we're gonna tr <laughs> we're gonna treat it like noise. Now, Skywalker and I are gonna continue to beta block because that's what we do, and that and yeah. that and that's that's necessary, and these people deserve it when they get it. But as far as my own personal uh, feelings towards Restore the Snyderverse, I know it's happening, and that's good enough for me. I want to thank you. Savage Bat for putting together this fantastic panel. You're an yeah. awesome person. And I mean, this has been so Thank much you. fun and so yeah. great. And you, you just, man, this is what I'm talking about. When you get live streams like this, there's there's nothing better, man. It's oh fantastic. no! Thank you all. For, you see, it would have happened if you hadn't of all turned up. Do you know what I mean? It was a, it worked both ways, and you know I was nervous myself. First live stream, you know. Well, you uh, you great. adjusting, you know, and you adjusting your life. To be on, you know, yeah. on an Amer on an American timetable is yeah. is, is a le is a level of <laughs> dedication. Awesome. Yeah, that I, I I mean, I, I think so. I think someone's called it psychotic, but <laughs> hey, nah, it's not. It actually it's dedication. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, and um, and how about how about you, Necron? What's your 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 feelings on the future and uh, and the fandom? Well, Zach's still posting stuff, so we know it's yeah. coming. You yeah. got Skywalker down there figuring out theories. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's... hey, y'all have no idea how deep it gets. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, I can't wait for this. Yeah. So, I've, been, um... I've been saying that to, this was only a couple of days ago. Someone was saying, oh, it's dead. It's over. It's over. But I said, what we, we got to do, right, is look on Zack Snyder's Vero. He's writing in the comments to people. One of them was don't give up fighting with the arm. Like, don't give up the fight. Um, there was another one before that, you know, say, you know, keep, don't lose hope. Um, and Zack Snyder has not given any of us any reason never to believe him. So uh, for people out there say, saying this negative stuff, you're basically calling Zack Snyder a liar. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Do you call yourself a fan? I don't think so. Do you know what I mean? You can't be doing shit like that. Until Zack says it's over, it's not over. The game is never over. Exactly. You know, he's he's the boss. Remember that. And, uh, well, I mean, yeah. remember they called him a liar before when they said, when we were saying release the Snyder Cut and look how yeah. that turned out. I'm just yeah, saying. we actually showed the film boxes and people were still saying, no, it's not. it doesn't exist. Yeah. So And, and how, how about uh, you, Skywalker? What's your thoughts on the future and the uh, and the fandom? Yo, the future is looking brighter than ever. All right, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like we are on the golden path, and don't let what any of these people that ain't really here for the right reasons or causes right, don't let them get riled up. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they're only trying to cause confusion. They are scared. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't be shocked if a lot of these people know what's about to happen, which is why they're kind of positioning themselves in, you know, how they are right now, right? So look, don't trip, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, for the, the people that feel like, you know, things are going down or whatever, look, just tune in to these live streams and, you know, you can get your hope and optimism and it'll be coming from a real place and not based in negativity like these other people are kind of conducting themselves 
right now. So as for the fandom, just be chill, you know, be patient, right? We have waited much longer, right? So, you know, yeah, we can do it again. People, it's not that much time. It's not that uh, much time left. You know, well, I, don't, I, get, I, don't get weary. I said the same thing when start, things started looking rough, you know, after the release and the Warner Brothers clown table. I said, look, this is not going to be a short road. We're going to have to put in, you know, uh, and a lot of people that are having what I put was um, fatigue, you know, fighting fatigue. You're going to have to fucking fight that fatigue and we're going to have to do it another four years of fighting, uh, you know, and this is just simple facts, you know. And uh, on to you, Socks. What's your uh, opinion on the future uh, of the Restore the Snyderverse? You can't stop this train, man. Yeah. There's no way to stop this train. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't going nowhere. You, you can't no because there's such a strong base of people behind this thing that's pushing for this. Yeah. This is money. This is real money. That yeah, it's just, it's just that you put down it, to. Right. That's what it is. And each and every one here, right, yeah, I know for a fact, right, yeah, we, we, we've got go and see these films three, sometimes four times, yeah. right? We'll buy the Blu-ray, we'll buy the Steelbook, we'll download it on Amazon Prime, uh, we'll just get every, we'll fucking stream it on HBO Max or Now TV over in the UK over and over again just to build up the streaming Watch numbers. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We, we, we because the Snyder fans are the most dedicated fan base I've ever seen, really. And we the most... in 4K versions in the U.S. because we didn't know if they were going to announce it out here. Yeah, that's right. We were importing. Right. Yeah, that's right. And, and it was, uh, yeah, a few of my friends done that, bought the U.K. version. I uh, did, too. I did, too. Yeah, yeah, there you yeah. go. Um, then I bought it I... when they couldn't put it out out here. That's what I was saying, like... Yeah, and I fucked up as well. So I did, and luckily they gave me a refund. I bought the US version of the trilogy, <laughs> thinking that they wouldn't release that in the UK, and then they did, and I got uh, they refunded the difference. But basically, what it would have been, I would have paid eighty-five pound for it uh, because I was I couldn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> but then they gave me the refund. It worked out for the same money, about fifty pound. Um, they actually refunded me the difference, so that was that worked out cool. But I had my copy in the UK before anyone else did because I got mine from the US. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, back Dan? Um, you know, I'm excited for the Snyderverse. I'm excited. I, I I know things will work out for the best. You know, I'll be honest. A little heartbreaking some of the recasting that's probably going to happen. Uh, you know, I'll be honest about that, but I'm sure in time things will work out for the best for everyone. And I'll be honest, whether or not these actors are going to be in the Snyderverse still, I do wish the best for them. I'll say, but you know, I'm, I'm excited. I just want to see the end of the story, see some bonus yeah. spinoffs like the Netflix project. And do you mind if I plug something real quick? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. This is, you know, we elevate each other, help each other out. This Friday, I'm going to be on Zob Writer's show for late night Q&A, uh, 1030. Yeah. It's gonna be a good one i'm really excited for this so come check it out yeah all right yeah yeah so please audience check yeah. out sod writer's channel i've been on there myself so uh and uh we had a great bash there uh, wasn't it zod writer that was incredible oh, it was incredible lots yeah. of fun lots of i mean well, lots, of, good. Oh, lots of og type stuff yeah. we were talking about that night i got <laughs> several i got several messages from big twitter pages on you know, like to do with Restore the Snyderverse the day after, saying, oh, that Zod <laughs> stream was fire. And, uh, and they've got people I've never spoke to before, ever. And, uh, you know, they, they got that one got out there. That was good. <laughs> when is that stream, Bad Dan? This Friday at 10.30 p.m. CST? Yes, 10.30 p.m. Central, Friday. Central. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah, for sure, I will be there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be there for that in I'll the chat. There. And uh, like, like, while we're here, you know, if if if, you ever, if anyone wants to do some crossover streams, like the Ghostbusters, and we'll cross the streams, just mm. give me a shout. You know, I'm I'm available all the time. Ooh. You know, uh, this is uh, becoming full time for me now. Just uh, trying to build the empire up a little bit. 
and uh, yeah, the fu- the future is going to be great. Hey, you, you you never know. Savage Bad probably going to pop up on one of my streams pretty soon. You know, what I'm oh, there you go. Yeah. That'd be good. Uh, right. Again, yeah, the OG streams, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's, there's something I like to say, and yeah. I was, I've been thinking about this for a while, ever since Mikey announced that he's going to put us in his comic books. Not only yeah. are we going to be immortalized forever, but we are yeah. going to piss off all the betas. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be amazing. They're going to come after us because they're going to go after Mikey. Then they're going to see us and like, why did he put these people in his comic book series? Well, because we respected him. We treated yeah. him with respect. I trusted yeah. him. You can see we trusted him and he trusted us. You betas right. can't even get on our bandwagon. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a fact. And be mad and be triggered. Right. You know what I'm Hashtag saying? Hashtag be bad. <laughs> because, because it ain't going to do nothing but get worse. Yo. Oh, my God. No, definitely. Oh the God. best the best revenge that we will have <laughs> is our success. You don't need to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got Because think about it. <laughs> Think about it, guys. We got the Snyder verse and the Mikey verse, and the betas, I know. and the betas don't have anything but their anger. Yeah, if you the thought they hated verse. us before, the they, they, now the we're gonna be in a comic book. They they're gonna hashtag beta verse. They're gonna they're fucking hate our guts. Beta verse, That's what we gonna do. We're gonna do it tonight, Skywalker, into yeah. the beta verse. Into the beta verse we go. <laughs> <laughs> into the beta verse we go. Ooh, it's coming. In one now, hour, uh, we're using the old we way. About an hour we're to get y'all shit together. Way. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> Sky get Walker your burners out. Always, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm sorry, Savage Bad. I'm just a little riled up because I'm excited. I yeah. am excited. To Go, man, seriously. Yeah. It's, it's, it, no, it's, it, it's going down. <laughs> well, you do this, you do the stream tonight. Oh, yeah. In one hour. Yeah. In one hour. Right. In one hour. Well, I'm yeah. around for that if uh, you need any help. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, hey, it's gonna be Liddy. I'm gonna holler. No, you know yeah, I'm I'll, I'll be in, I'll be in the chat anyway. But yeah, hey, I'm gonna holler at you. Yeah. Cool. So I suppose we better wrap that up. Really, now we're at uh, two hours and uh, twelve minutes, and uh, it's been uh, two fourteen. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I said the, the 214 cut, you know. The, the 214 <laughs> cut, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but uh, thank you, everyone here, you know, Zod Wright and Necron, Skywalker, Socks, no problem. Bat Dan for turning up. And, uh, and f- massive thank you to Mikey and Seal. Um, I spoke to Seal, he had, to, he had some business to take care of. So, um, but th- this is uh, for the benefit of the audience. There's going to be lots more of this kind of craziness in the future, and uh, we're going to cook, we're going to cook up some uh, entertaining streams to uh, you know uh, entertain you and keep you informed on the reality of things that are going on. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's it's great days ahead all the time. And I just just pers- on a personal level, from me to and to you guys and um, Mikey and that. Um, you know, uh, it's been a massive honor to be a part of this community. And yeah. uh, you've welcomed you. me with open That's arms. And there's nothing but respect from me to all of you. Um, and I, I really, really can't thank you all enough because, you know, I'm totally, I've been to social media and that before, but I'm totally new to this. And, uh, and none of it would have happened if, uh, you know, you guys hadn't, uh, you know, reached out and uh, give me a hand because, you know, it's, 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 it's just such a great thing to be a part of it all. And I'm really honoured uh, to be a part of it. And, uh, and and for the fans, really, as well. For, for, that's just to keep them entertained, keep people, you know, updated on, on stuff. Uh, what, what harm are we causing? We're not doing nothing. We're positive. Everyone's having a laugh, a good time. You know, there's no negativity. Uh, you know, leading the way. And, um, you know, and a special thank you to specifically Seal and Mikey for the just the, the ch- ch- champions, um, you know, leading the way for us all to and, and inspiring new people to come out and, you know, give, I think you said it, give, give, giving people a voice, you know, and uh, giving everyone a chance oh, yeah. to, say, to say their piece. 
Uh, you know, not like before when me and Zod talked about this with the old uh, gatekeeping in the um, release the Snyder Cut movement. You know, anyone right. wants to uh, step up to the mark, um, create, become a content creator. You know, if you've got good shit to say and you're going to be positive, you're anyone is welcome. Do you know what I mean? This, this, that's right. And uh, so, right, I'll uh, I'll call it a day then, and I'll I'll see you all soon. I'll tap in to Skywalker stream in the chat, and I'm I'll mess just message me guys. Hey, uh, and he might make a cameo. You never know. Pow, you pow. never know. Pow, pow. <laughs> you never know. It's going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's in, man. RSVP, Life's I'm there. Life's gonna be brutal. Yeah, <laughs> be oh, blood, man. Like, I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It's gonna be a long night. I can tell it. I can, I can feel <laughs> it. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night if you're a beta. It's gonna definitely be a long. Oh my god. <laughs> we are, we are beta busted tonight in a way yeah. that has never been done before. <laughs> into the beta verse we go. Facts. Yeah. That is that is that is real talk. Yeah. Well. So. And anyway, to the audience, there's more coming soon. Going to be doing restore the Snyderverse, the Snyder Knights, my group um, stream with all the admins um, and some possibly some guests and stuff. Um, and we've got some. I'm going to be doing once a fortnight, hopefully, if I can manage it, uh, either a Saturday or a Sunday. So, and I'll be posting, you know, the the, the you know the links in advance so you can set your reminders and stuff and uh i'm sure you'll be seeing some of these guys pop up uh in the future i think that's that's uh pretty much certain there <laughs> and um it's a, it's yeah a guarantee it's as certain as the snyder verse itself yeah huh? it's uh it's, it's certain you know it's this uh uh Sat seal nation savage nation the mikey verse Restore the Snyderverse. Thank you to all the people out there. Restore the Snyderverse is coming. We don't fuck around. Believe that shit. It's coming. Don't don't you worry about nothing. Uh, Batman out. <laughs>